Hello everyone and welcome to The Stoop. This is Harlequins Live brought to you by Silverbug. Today we welcome Bath to the home of the champions. We welcome Bath, but I welcome Lennox. Hello. So good to have you back, mate. It's been a while. Yes. How are you? I'm really good, thank you. Quite excited to be back. Um, I've always loved the Queen's Live, so it should be a good day. Uh, well, you are back in the quarters tomorrow, but I want to talk about you being uh, a little bit further down the A316 yeah. because you've been living that hashtag champ life at yeah. Richmond. How's that been going? It's been amazing. I, I, I've been saying me and Muskie are there together. Best loan club in, 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 in the whole of England, I think. Uh, we're doing quite well third in the champ, so yeah, I'm just really enjoying it. Nice playing rugby. Well, they'll miss you today because yeah. they're away at, uh, at Bedford, aren't they? Um, but you've been putting some actual rugby together. What have you played? Five games yeah, for them so now? Five games in total in the last six weeks here and there on uh, the games in regards to our recent games here as well which has been nice just nice to play rugby all the ACAD boys have been going out each week playing on loan so it's been good for us how's the body? Uh, it's nice it's actually really nice like it's nice waking up feeling a bit sore from a game and contacts and stuff like that now we've got a massive game today of course um, Harlequins looking to continue on what's been a good start in yeah. the Premiership we've had some unbelievable days here already a full house against Worcester Warriors which yeah. is fantastic that night against special Bristol night. Bears, special, special night. night. But the special night was followed by the special day because Very, you more, played a, a more important day, if anything. <laughs> um, you played for Richmond yeah. uh, against Scottish. Yeah. It was the derby game at the Rag. Yeah. Quinns lads on both sides yeah. of the ball. What was that like to be involved um, with? Great. I think there were seven Quinns boys in total. Five playing for Scottish. Two of us playing for Richmond. It's just um, the whole week was leading to that Saturday and then loads of Quinns boys and coaches and like a, a, a lot of the Quinns family came down and watched the game it's quite nice and obviously Richmond left for the win which is even better <laughs> so can't complain about that at all what I find hilarious about that is um, we had it here as well so yeah. Will Collier has scored one of the best tries yeah. I've ever seen in my life yeah. but all of a sudden nobody wants to talk about yeah. it like, I don't want to <laughs> yeah. hear Cole talking about <laughs> this but George Hammond scored an amazing try for Scottish Muskie scored a great yeah. try for, for Richmond but I'd imagine you just don't want to talk about it I don't it. want to talk about it at all because I was left off the score sheet but um, yeah both for George and Muskie scored some excellent tries George a 55 metre intercept running which is unheard of from a second row I think he took inspiration from Cole the night before but um, yeah I try and erase it from the mind and move on to next week <laughs> yeah uh, the future is bright for Harlequins but you are back in the quarters tomorrow how excited are you for that it'd be really nice I think They've sorted out a little friendly game for us younger lads who are more likely to play in the Prem Cup uh, so we can get a run out together, kind of be more, a bit more cohesive and hopefully play well tomorrow and, and fix any errors that arise tomorrow and then look to storm into the Prem Cup. Prem Cup, I yeah. can't wait. And hopefully there'll be some coverage of that as well. Always a pleasure to see you in the quarters. Um, seeing as this is the first time we've had a public chat, can you just talk us through that crossfield in uh, pre-season? Um, <laughs> I think... I was I was lucky as a team we'd gone basically 100 metres towards the try line and then I could see that the fence had gotten quite tight I could hear George I used to live with George so George was in my ear about it because I want the bloody ball um, and I, I, after begging Staffy for like the eighth time he finally gave it to me I, I kicked it kick, kick and hope and it landed quite nicely for George and he tapped it back in for Will Trenholm and that was that that was an answer straight out of the media playbook <laughs> because he has been giving it such big ends about that for absolute months. Uh, but yeah, you, you, you've, got, you've got back into team yeah, mode, yeah, I respect yeah, it. Yeah, of course. Um, there is a competition today. Quinn's Lives fans will know that we always like to give you the best prizes. Today, you have the opportunity to win this home jersey it's a good shirt isn't yeah, it's, it it's a quite a nice shirt yeah it is really nice to be in with the chance of winning it whether you're watching on Facebook YouTube or TikTok you need to get into the comments section and let us know who you think will be the last try scorer today who do you think will be the last try scorer last try scorer I would go for a Luke Northmore Northmore's always, always a, a good, good shout. shout although Hugh Jones on the bench today That's as well a good point as well yeah we'll have to, we'll have to see we'll it would be a brave see. man to go Will Collier because he's yeah. starting and if 
he <laughs> if he's throwing dummies 80, yeah. 80 minutes in. The world's but, gone mad. That's, that's what's happened if he's doing that. But get your guesses in. You could win this jersey. To be in with a chance, you need to tell us who will be the last try scorer. Get it in the comments section. We'll be announcing that later. Tabo Madsen. He's had time to settle in now. What have yeah. been your experiences um, with the big I man? I think he's a great head coach. I think he's come in well, uh, added where he can add, and like he's a very good people's person, so get some, get some very well person the players, understands what makes you tick as a player, how to improve you. And I think for me, he's been, he's been really big as well. He used to be a centre, so little things around like the contact area, um, he's been hammering home with me, so I think he's been a great addition to, to Harlequins. He has made a great first impression. We always get to have an exclusive chat with him. We even ask some fan questions. So this is what he had to say this week. Tabs, great to see you again. Uh, we welcome back your old employers today. What are your <laughs> memories of being down at the yeah, wreck? Yeah. Oh, really good memories. Like it was, it seems like an eternity ago, four years. But yeah, I was down there for a little while. Um, and it is strange. There's a lot of good men in that group uh, and in the management. And so, I, you know, we welcome them here. But a job to be done. Uh, a job to be done off the back of a defeat, which yeah. we've not spoken about before. Um, mm. It's never good to lose a match, but were there positives to take from it? And how has the week been building up to today? Yeah, I think you, you are going to lose. It's the nature of high-performance sports. So for us, you've got to take the learnings and move forward. We, we got a bonus point, which probably, I don't say it was more than we deserved, but we were really happy to go away with the way we played um, in parts of the game. But we gave away 19 penalties, so there's been a bit of chat about that. Are being disciplined against most teams so um, but we we understand Bath you know they're coming here with the result they had last week we're expecting a backlash so we'll have to be on our game against a pretty formidable team always good to hear from Tabs so one of the questions from the fans was was Will Collier still allowed to train with the forwards after that try? Do you have Muskie trying to sidle into um, backs moves? Yeah, That's yeah, it. Muskie does it, Marla does it, Kenningham does it. It's just I think the backs is the place you want to be, especially at this club. But unfortunately, there's the certain, the certain requirements that haven't been met yet by, by those individuals to come and join us. Well, let's move it back to the forwards then, because there are some really key figures in this Harlequin side. One of the unsung heroes, perhaps, is... Simo, yes. tell me about him. Uh, he's a workhorse. He's like the engine of the team. Tackles, gets up, carries. He's like from zero to eighty. You get you get a hundred and ten percent performance from him, which is always amazing. Uh, I think I don't, uh, like I, I think he's not spoken highly enough, and I think a, a lot of other boys would agree as well. I absolutely agree, and we don't get to hear from him very often. But earlier in the week, we did to so take full advantage of this a rare interview with Simo. That was the first game where we've realised how every other team in the league is going to up their game to play against uh, to play us. Uh, that was um, yeah really physical. I haven't had a game like that since the prem since the prem final. Yeah, teams are going to be really direct against us. They know the threats we have and perceived weaknesses, and uh, we've got to make a point this week against Bath to um, get some things right that we didn't against Sale. Oh, I mean, every team in this league is. Uh, real quality. Um, I know Bath haven't had the best start, uh, especially last week in Saris. They've got some really dangerous runners out wide. They've got a really good line out. So for me, being second row line out caller, there's a, you know, they've got the best line defence in the league. So that's something I'm uh, kind of prepping for. I've been in teams that have been on those kind of score, like the wrong end of those score lines that they had last week. If they can beat us, um, and they've had some good results against us recently, actually. That can be the catalyst for them turning around their season. So we're under no illusions about the different team that's come into the stoop on Saturday. It was it was incredible. I think, and a lot of guys haven't played at a full stoop. Um, it's something that I'm really looking forward to again. From when you run out, um, even the warm up, you know, the the, the fans are right on the uh, side of the pitch. So when we're doing scrums, you know, they're ten meters away, at, at, you know, or less, and then the whole game. I think we've got a really vocal crowd going up to the AJ Bell on Friday night. There's a difference uh, in some of those stadiums, shall we say. Stoops special.
Always great to hear from Simo and he starts in the row again today. It's a new look back row with Lord A, Chisholm and Don Brandt going at 6, 7 and 8 respectively. Um, let's talk about Chis hmm. for a second because we talked about Simo who doesn't speak a lot. Yeah. Chis seems to speak quite regularly but I'm always pretty impressed when he does. Yeah. Um, he's just energetic I'd say both on and off the pitch I think he offers us a lot in regards to like his words of wisdom when he does speak and I think he's just kind of like an embodiment of what Harlequins is because he's been there since he was little yeah I speak uh, I speak about this all the time in one of the very first shows we did the team were changing in the bar yeah. and I asked the guests on the show yeah. that week if somebody was to take advantage of the fact that the beer taps were still on who yeah. would it be and they unanimously said James Chisholm yeah. <laughs> would you agree with that who yeah. do you think it would be no, I think I'd agree Jay Chisholm is quite a wild character um very unpredictable so that's that, that's the kind of thing I can I can, I can imagine hearing about yeah wild and unpredictable are the two words that yes. Lennox has used to describe James Chisholm make up your own two words send them in in the comment section but in the meantime enjoy this exclusive interview boys learn a lot like individually and as a team um, just kind of how to manage the game how we should go about it in, in every position uh, as well as you know taking a lot of positives in terms of our defense and how physical we were and we weren't afraid, afraid to throw it about with a lot of international players who uh, are probably some of the most physical in the world, which is you know which is a great learning experience, especially for someone like me. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed you know mixing it with those guys. Next up, we have Bath. What kind of challenge are they going to pose? Yeah, I think traditionally as well. In the past couple of years, they've been very physical. They've put a lot of uh, emphasis on the set piece. You know, the line out and scrum with um, with the internationals they have there. I think this year they're playing a really nice brand of rugby, which hasn't quite clicked yet. Um, I think everyone's sort of sitting around waiting for it to come good because um, they've got a very, very talented team doing some really good stuff. It's just a matter of time for those guys, I think. So hopefully it's not this Saturday, but um, we'll see. Two teams that want to play rugby, which is great, which is what we're all about and what's this, what the Stoops all about. So it's going to be great. A new back row combination this week, maybe without that recognised seven that we've played with for so long. How do you see yourselves complementing each other? Yeah, I think, I mean, we've joked like the, the heavies are out. Um, the, the, the sort of um, the guys that are more similar uh, are playing and we're really looking forward to it. You know, you've got two fantastic ball players in Lorde and Dom. Um, I'm going to try and throw them out a bit. So hopefully we'll complement each other fairly well. You know, Don played like a seven the other night um, with his four turnovers or whatever it was at home against Bristol. So I think we'll be all right. We've got Lukey Wallace on the bench to, to come on. He's played a lot of rugby for this club, um, who, who is more of that seven skill set if, if, we, if we need that, who is also a fantastic ball player. So I think, I think we'll be all right. And, you know, it's a long old season. You've got to use the lads that you've got. And we've got a great group, especially in the back row. So it was only a matter of time before before we mixed it up. And how important is it to get back to winning ways after a defeat last week? Yeah, very, very, very important. You know, you want to keep building on the momentum that we have. Um, even you know the, the three games we won, and, and even before that, coming into pre-season with an incredible amount of momentum. So you know, it's uh, we're going out there to win, as we always do. Every game's the same. Um, but we're going out there to play how we play and, and stick to that as well, which brings us uh, a lot of confidence. And are you looking forward to playing in front of a sold-out stoop? Yeah, absolutely loved Friday night um, two weeks ago, whatever it was, against uh, Bristol. Absolutely love it there. It's the best ground. In, it's, it's the best ground I've ever played at, I think. Um, the crowd have been fantastic. And there's, there seems throughout the country like a real buy-in to like, live rugby now, which is so awesome. So I am very excited. Today, this game at the Stoop is dedicated to the beginning of Black History Month. If you get the chance to, to read the programme, I know some people watch the show back. Hopefully you picked one up. Uh, if you are watching live, then make sure you try and catch up with all the things that the club are doing, including an exclusive article uh, written by this man. Tell us about the story that featured in the article uh, that you wrote. a story about an ancient Mali king from the 1300s, Mansa Musa. He's allegedly the richest man to have ever lived, net worth about 400 billion. A story about his pilgrimage to Mecca and and the way and like basically how big his wealth was essentially. Um, yeah. And um, what I found interesting about that, and I think it is certainly an opportunity um, for people to become educated, was the fact that you have changed the popular narrative yeah. on it based on stories like that. Is that something that you really considered beforehand? 
I think, as I said in the article, I think it's just always been a, quite a big thing that like Black History Month has been about the suffering and it's been about the hardships that were that were endured. But I, th I just think that Black History also has to be spun so you can see greatness, so you can see what 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 was achieved back then as a black person and, and, and I think that's quite a big thing for us as a club and us as a society to, to start to see that black history isn't just suffering, isn't just pain but it's greatness as well and let's 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 enjoy that and let's let's celebrate that as well as opposed to just suffering. And as a Harlequin how pleased are you that Quins are taking this seriously and it goes in the list of things that this club always seems to yeah. be at the forefront I, of? I think it's great, I think Quins is a very inclusive club um, no matter um, what size, what shape, what colour, like whoever you are, Quinn's always been very inclusive and I've always felt like I've been included in, in around the environment from the age of 11 to now and I think just it just speaks volumes about the club that, that people can be themselves and, and, and you have guys like Joe Marlu come to the game in, in a full pink track suit and, and it's just the way boys are at Harlequins and that's, that's Quinn's as a club and I think that that's always been a great feature of the club. Well we always continue to try and push onwards, push forwards, do keep your eye on Quinn's social media to see exactly where we go with this and many of the other positive things that the club are doing. We were looking forward to welcoming Christian Scotland Williamson to the show today. Unfortunately he's had a bump on the head but when he does get the chance he to be says, on the show. He says. <laughs> he says. Oh, God. Have you just thrown your man <laughs> under the bus? <laughs> Either way he'll be a great guest. Very much looking forward to seeing him in the quarters out there on the pitch but we caught up with him earlier in the week and this is his story. And we are live. As you can see, the ground filling up beautifully here. It is another sellout. Everybody wants to come and see the Quins at the moment. Let's have a look at the 15 who will be taking the field to begin with. It's a slightly new look back row, but plenty of familiar faces. The coaches haven't sprung too much on us, but while we wait for that, let's have a look at the supporters. It is absolutely brilliant here today. Jack Walker and Marla keep their place in the front row. Will Collier has been rewarded after that stunning try under the lights against Bristol with a start at loose head. Sorry, tight head. It is Matt Simmons and Dino Lamb in the engine room. James Chisholm at six, Domers at eight and an unfamiliar seven jersey for Tom Lorde but he's guaranteed me some turnovers today, so that's something to look forward to. It's DC and Marcus at 9 and 10, Andre and March at 12 and 13. Caden keeps his place on the left wing. Lewis Liner returns to the right wing with Tyrone at full back. So a couple of changes, but plenty of familiar faces. Eight changes for Bath as they welcome back some big names, including Rocco. But no room, Lennox for your mate Odge? Yeah, um, I spoke to him during the week. He said that he's played every minute so far. So a bit of rotation for him, but he's been great for them so far the last few weeks. Oh yeah, he looks uh, a fantastic baller. I remember he got the start uh, last time Bath came here in yeah. that 44-33. And he threw that special oh, pass. Oh my that goodness big me. 50 metre Bath or whatever it was. So yeah. what's your relationship with him then? How far do you guys go back? Uh, I think we played, we played a lot of age grade stuff together and against each other, so we always knew each other. And then just there was one age grade camp where me, him, a few other, few other young lads, Tom Roebuck, Junior Munga, boys from all over the country we just got together afterwards and chilled and up since then we've all been really close and good friends so yeah i like to see that because you just assume that because competition is so fierce and because teams you know ultimately you go out every saturday or every sunday and you want to win that there'd be those the, the kind of friction between players but there seems to be really good relationships cross camp yeah like there's no friction at all really like in fact every every week i'll message Odge and i'll say well done or or like i'll be asking why he's not playing like because i want to see him out there doing well and I, and I know it's the same he has the same intentions for me as well but you're looking forward to the day where you're playing 12 for quins he's playing yeah. 12 for bath that'll be, yeah, that'll be really, really good that'll be really really good <laughs> Yeah. Uh, let's let's have a chat about about Bath then, because anybody who follows Premiership rugby, anyone who knows anything about rugby, period, knows that Bath are one of the great clubs in England. Yeah. But here we find them, rock bottom of the Gallagher Premiership, no wins in four games. The, the less said about that game against Saracens, yeah. the better. But this, by no means, is a walkover for Harlequins today. Not at all. I think Bath are waiting for their attack to click. 
and once it does, I think it'll be extremely dangerous. I, I think I think they're really, they're really dangerous right now. They, they do score tries, they put points on the table, they can defend well at times. Last week was a blip for them, I'd say, but I think they do have the capabilities to do well. So today is an important game. We have to start right, start well, and then we can go on from there. And also, if there is one team you don't want to blip against, it's Saracens because they are so precise. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the lads who are heading in through the tunnel over on the far side. Then your your Harlequins. Um, couple of changes mm. new look back row I mean I'm not going to ask you to go into the intricacies yeah. because as a 12 I don't think that's fair but we've become so used to having a specialist seven whether that's been Will Evans or more recently Jack Kenning and Luke Wallace is yeah. back in the squad today um, we've got the heavies as they've been the described uh, in the back row today but they're all back row forwards with a good skill set yeah. it's going to look a bit different today yeah it'll, it'll look a bit different but as you say they're all back row forwards they all, they all have the skills required for each position, all physical, all work hard and I think as always they all fit into the system that Harlequins play so it should be no different today. And in a competitive back row they are very much looking to stamp their name on a jersey as the season goes forward. Um, the atmosphere here building beautifully, it is a sellout, you can see some empty seats, that's because everyone is in the concourse enjoying food, enjoying drinks, enjoying Mike Beauville whose yeah. voice is currently <laughs> Well, very, very loud in the stadium, but it, uh, it certainly makes me feel at home. Remember, if you are a Quinns member, you can use the code BAT10 to get your exclusive points. And we're giving away the home jersey today, so get your last try scorer in. Are you nailing your colours to the Luke Northmore Yeah, last? Luke Northmore is, is, is the cross I'll die by, yeah. Let's talk about the, uh, the centres here then, because... As we've talked about, you're over there at Richmond at the moment, getting some first team action in, getting ready to, to play Premiership Rugby soon, we hope. Yeah, we Talk hope. to me about the group, your 12s and 13s we've got here. Um, I always say we have the best centres in Europe, the best group of centres. I think you've got guys like Andre, Hugh, March, Luke North, more just to, like, just to name those alone, let alone like the injured ones like Paul Asiki. Amazing skill sets, but all physical, defend well. And I think we just have a nice balance of who starts and who comes on and that can be rotated as it was last week with Luke Northall starting and so on. And I, I, and I assume soon we'll see Hugh play a bit more. He's, he's been picked for Scotland, hasn't he? So um, it, like we, we, have, we have amazing centres here and it's great to see him play. I've not seen Paul Lasiki since the end of last season where mm. he had his leg in a pot. Mm but he was making his way around the ground yeah. on this like homemade wheelchair. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it was, like, like a little scooter thing, It was yeah. like when dogs break their back legs yeah, and yeah, they get yeah, strapped literally. to a big roller skate. No, definitely, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, he's well actually. He's back running again on like the altar gym and stuff. It's been good to see him and, and he seems in good spirit, so it's, it's good, yeah, really good. So what does your week look like at the moment? And how much time are you spending in the Quinns camp? How much time are you spending in the Richmond camp? Um, I think it changes based off what our Quinns game week is like. Okay. So if we're playing on the Sunday, obviously the week's a bit different, the same as if we're playing on the Friday. But if, if we're playing on the Saturday and the weeks like marry up quite well, I spend the Monday at Quinns, train at Quinns, Tuesday I come in at Quinns and do my weights but I wouldn't necessarily train unless there's big injuries or whatever then I'd go to Richmond on loan in the evening train there Wednesday off Thursday similar to Tuesday so train at Richmond Friday day off Saturday pile into a game on the weekend Sounds like quite hard craft Um I think it's just it's just nice playing and I, I think, I think that's, that's been the biggest thing a few weeks ago it was raining quite heavily and me and Muskie were training at, at, on loan at Richmond together and we're just enjoying it yeah. because it's just nice knowing that you're playing on the weekend, which is something that we didn't really get to do last year. So yeah. Also, great opportunity to, to stay pretty local as well because yeah. I know there are quite a lot of dual registered players mm. in the championship, but, and some are, have got to travel. I don't know from from Northampton to so, Antill, yeah, which yeah. isn't a massive deal, no. but it might be an hour and a half, two hours. Mm. I know there were there were some lads last year who were travelling from Exeter to Coventry, yeah, yeah. which is or, or Bath to Coventry yeah. as well. I know Tom Doughty was was up there so for you to be able to pretty much do the same mm. journey is, yeah. uh, is pretty good no really good and, and also there's a great relationship between Richmond and Harlequins yeah. as well isn't yeah, there yeah amazing They're, relationship yeah uh, and obviously the uh, the main battle to be the kings of the A316 yeah which I think I might get in trouble for saying it Richmond are winning <laughs> but um, yeah that's, wait, I'm telling you Richmond's a special club yeah uh, upset to not be there this weekend but I know the boys will go well today against Bedford um, but yeah, it's a very, spe very special club. I don't know how many of you follow um, the championship social medias, but Bedford seem to score unbelievable Yeah, tries. they do, they do, they really do, yeah. Um, they've had a great few weeks, uh, so it'll be interesting. But 
yeah, look, great backline, a lot of talent, a lot of skill. They do score some some worldies. So let's talk um, about a couple of Quinns players then. Somebody who I seem to end up talking to at the end of every game at the moment because he's in such a good mood all the time is Caden Burley. Yeah. He seems to be really enjoying Mate, the rugby he's, right he's now. He's playing the best rugby so far of his career. I think he's scoring tries, defending amazingly, like getting little turnovers that we need. Like, like I think I think he's playing a great, great rugby and, and it's showing he's happy, smiles on faces, as we always say. And it's been good to see. Backs jackaling. Mate, we work on it quite a lot, actually. We do every Tuesday. Do you like it? I like it, yeah. Andre loves it. Like, to be fair, the boys as a whole, they all like it. They all get quite stuck in, yeah. All right. <laughs> sure. Wait, we're not just pretty faces who throw the ball around. <laughs> <like>. <laughs> not just not pretty just faces, pretty faces, so. no. Um, Wacker today, going up yeah. against his old employers. Yeah. How has he settled into the group? Oh, yeah, of Run course. Tabs, yeah. Um, Wack has been great, uh, gets on well with everybody, um, good character, good laugh, great player as well, obviously on yeah. the pitch, offers a lot, uh, he, he's really, really good for us. Yeah, he um, he, he presents like a Harlequin, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah, he really does, he really, really does. Like that kick, that oh. terrible kick he tried to put through, <laughs> I don't know what he was thinking, like, too, that's too much of a Quinn. <laughs> Yeah. The thing is, when it came off the boot, I was like, oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. But, you know, if he, if that just runs into the 22 and Absolutely. we force yeah. it into touch, then, yeah. you know, you've got to admire the, uh, you've got to admire the bravery. Yeah, you do. You do. <laughs> Home debut for you yeah. club as a hooker <laughs> and you're dropping it on the toe in the first couple of minutes. It's good. Be yourself. <laughs> yeah. uh, you might be watching as a Harlequins Live regular follower and thinking, well, usually, Dave, there are three of you, yeah. and there are three of us, mm -hmm. uh, but Archie White isn't here. Like, oh, goodness me, where's Archie? Uh, he was out warming up, yeah. so he's going to be busy. <laughs> I tell you what, I hope he puts enough clothes on, because <laughs> we've had Simo on the show before. I know we were very complimentary of him uh, previously, yeah. but he went out to do his running when he was coming back from that knee injury last season, and it was a little bit later in the year than this, yeah. and he just sat down there in shorts and yeah, t-shirt. Yeah, terrible decision-making. <laughs> terrible decision-making. This place gets incredibly Freezing. cold. It's freezing. But, yeah. you know, so we are we are right in the corner of the DHL stand as our new home. Looking over there at the Charles Stanley stand, yeah. it is full. It's North packed. stand full, yeah. South stand full, yeah. DHL stand full. How yeah. good is this? It's amazing. Like, I, said, I, I, like, I said at the Bristol game, I've never seen the suit packed out, so it's quite a beautiful thing to see. Um, and hopefully, hopefully everyone enjoys the game. Uh, Bath are on their way out there in their change jersey, white with the blue trim and the, the little black bits on it as well. Mm. Oh, cool. Well, you played um, in that Cardiff game. Yeah. Probably, was that the biggest crowd you've played in front of at the Stoop? Yeah, I think it is, actually. Yeah, yeah it was, yeah. Because when you made your debut, was, did we have fans there? Or no was fans at all, no. Was empty. <laughs> 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 it Quits all the way out. Flames fire into the cloudy sky up yeah. above the Charles Stanley stand. The home jersey, the quarters, the black shorts, the green socks. Thomas leads them out, he's got his socks pulled down. He's that kind of old school rugged <laughs> eight, isn't he? He's not. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Tommy Lorde in the seven jersey, I'm here for it. Mm, I am as well. Be good, be very good. I like Tom. Collier started as well. Heavy padding on that left arm. He is, and he's got big arms as well. So that's Mate, it's from three, diving in that, for that try, <laughs> man. Thank you. It was, it's, it's a foreign thing, so he wasn't used to it, didn't do it correctly. Friction boots. Yeah. Dino is sticking with the. Uh, what do we think of Dino's white scrum cap? Matches boots. I like it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I've not, not even thought of that. So you're, you're the man for the it's coordination. Yeah. <laughs> Marcus, ball in hand. Harlequins. Kicking off in the first half. Oh, great news. They're attacking us in the second yeah, half as well. Very so. nice, yeah. We'll get all the meat pies and we are underway. Wait, hold on. Max is playing. Oh, what? Max is playing. He's there. Oh, yeah. Come on, what's going on? Who is it? Oh, we'll have to check social media to yeah. see what the, the Someone's pulled out, there. obviously, yeah. I tell you what, then. So you've got Orlando at 10, mm -hmm. Max at 12. So yeah. two very, very exciting young footballers. Yeah. But two senior ACAD lads against Marcus and Andre, yeah. I would be looking to give them an absolute baptism if I were... Uh, <laughs> yeah. We'll see how it goes. Straight down the channels. It's a, it's a long 80 minutes, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But two... Oh, penalty. Great. Quinn's penalty yeah, on the halfway line. So, obviously, we chat through the game. Great to have you on board wherever you're watching around the world, but we're aware that the game isn't broadcast today, so I'll try 
and keep you up to date with field positions without making it sound like a radio commentary. Um, so Quinns have won a penalty on the halfway line. Marcus with a chance to kick the ball into the 22, which is exactly what he does. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Mm. Chance for a line out. And again, looking at this Bath side, mm. how can you possibly write off a team that has Underhill at seven? Yeah, he is not at all. so good. From 1 to 15, they have quite a few internationals. Like They're a good side. It'll be a good game. Good test today. Last week, their 15 was unreal. Like I almost, I honestly thought mm. that game was... not If not a 50-50 and a 55-45, the yeah. ball goes to ground and Marcus loops it out. Lewis line a first touch. Oh, good cover tackle mm. on Lewis, who is on, what, nine tries in six games? Yeah, it's an incredible run. Incredible, incredible Inside run. Inside ball! Oh, the offload oh. just goes to ground. Who's that has just got melted off the ball as well? I think it's... Ooh. Oh, is it Caden? Caden has a fresh barnet every week. Yeah, he's, he loves his haircuts, doesn't he? So does Marcus. They live together, so... Um, Marcus was telling me about either the 100 club or the 200 club where he paid his barber either 100 or 200 yeah. quid for the whole year. unlimited haircuts. Yeah, he told me about that as well. I think it's quite a good deal. For him? Yeah. Yeah. You, you get a haircut every week, 52 weeks in the year or whatever. Yeah. That's, you save yourself 120 quid, basically. Mate, uh, another penalty to Quinns and uh, Marcus is going to go to the corner again. Mate, he is, like, the amount he had, he could have put his barber out of business. No, yeah, yeah. It's, in, it's, in, it's crazy. Um, so the penalty was given for Bath pulling down the mall. Lord A where in number seven was the, the target man. Oh, it's a loose pass, but mm. they got to it. So Quinn's now line out six-ish metres from the line, about as far away from us as it could be. Who's the target this time? Oh, it's Simo at the front. He talked about the line out in his interview earlier and how important it's going to be. And Bath have sacked that well, so it's gone to ground. Dino fancies it, but Lord A takes it on. First carry for Marla drives forward he's a strong boy and Quinn's about 10 metres from the line first real opportunity some space out wide oh it's going over the line yes Gray it is Andre Esterhexen that's a start yeah that's lovely how has he finished that long arms <laughs> <laughs> very long arms oh long arms strong arms Quinn's ahead three minutes we like yeah, this yeah, very nice Nice lot can see first. Oh, don't. So, <laughs> so, it's the hope that kills you. Let's have another look at this then. Oh, he's dummied it to Caden and just taken a couple of lads over the line with him. Mm. Go on, big Andre. We love this guy. Nice dummy line there from uh, from Dino to take the scrum yeah, half really, out Yeah, really, really well. nice, yeah. He's, um, he seems to be on a big upward curve, Dino. Yeah, he's been amazing, especially at the start of the season. I see real development in his game, as you can see. And it's just been good to watch, yeah. And it's nice to see him hit 50, 50 games yeah. a few games ago, yeah. Now, I, I I mean this with the love and respect it's uh, meant. You look like a guy who eats a lot and lifts a lot. I like to eat and I have to go to the gym. Uh, Dino also looks like a guy who yeah, likes to eat Yeah, he probably loves to eat and he, he loves going to the gym as well, probably, yeah. He is a big slab. Yeah, very, very big. Conversion's good. Mm. This is stress free. After you might take yeah. his time. Hopefully, we can do a point in a minute, eh? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, not a great start for Bath. Bath haven't touched the ball yet, to be fair, so no, they'll they be looking yeah. um, to pressure this restart. Remember, who is going to be the last try scorer? Andre Esterhazen is the first. Get your guesses in, and you could win this jersey. You've got until, what should we say, 64? 60 minutes to get your guesses in? 60. Someone's knocked out. Oh no. Bath player down on the 22 from the restart. Who's that? Uh, eight. Who's to be fair, they have. Um, they're obviously missing Falatau. Yeah, Falatau. I love watching. Yeah, he's a good what player. Well, oh, you're Welsh, of course you love watching. Of course watching I them. do. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I was talking to some uh, I was talking to some guys earlier and obviously the, all the big chat has been about the Qu Quinns players who've been called up mm. into uh, into England mm -hmm. and I'm like, well, you know, it's it's great that uh, it's great that England players are getting the opportunity yeah. but I'd much rather them be in, yeah. in Quinns <laughs> Um And yeah, it's, it's, 
but I suppose you, you're a victim of your success. Yeah. Uh, we've got the benefit of the BT pictures, and uh, we've just seen Rich de Carpentier. Yeah. Yeah. I really like him. Nice. No, Chippy's a great lad. Yeah. I got on really well with the team, and he was quite missed when he left. Yeah. Did you do a Quinn's Live with, was it me, you and him for one show? I believe so. Yeah. I, yeah, I do actually believe so. He cracked me up. So he came on one of the shows around about Christmas time, and he was talking about him and his wife and how they'd agreed not to do any Christmas presents yeah. that year. So she, like, wrapped up a deodorant and yeah. kitchen scissors yeah. and all of that. But, uh, of course, he just missed out on the Olympics, and then there wasn't a place for him here. So. No. I'm just pleased he's managed nice, to, yeah. to find a club. Yeah. He's, uh, yeah, good egg. And I'm sure, well, one of the things that all of the Quinns players said that he did was just added a lot of value. Yeah, he does. The... Yeah, he, he really did. Like, he's, he's been around, I think. And obviously, there's quite a few particular skills that you, you learn in games from sevens that he brought to us. So, um, he, he added a lot to the team as a whole. Uh, small fact about Chippy. Same uni club as Donners and Northmore. Cardiff Met. Cardiff Met. Oh, wow. Special place. Up the Arches. Yeah. It's quite good, actually. Yeah. I like it there. Shout out to those boys. In fact, I'm planning a uh, bit of a trip down to Cardiff for the away game in Europe. And, ah, uh, a bit of a trip. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> go, back, uh, go back home, you know? Yeah. Just spread the love. Yeah. <laughs> Have you spent much time in Cardiff? Um, I've never been to Cardiff once in my life. Oh, mate. Good city. I'm not sure. I've... If what do you mean it, you're not sure? If it's not London, I'm not, I'm not convinced. Are you not going to take my word for it? Well, um, mm. Are you born and raised London? Then? Yeah, born and raised North London. Lived there. Okay. Lived there my whole life. I went to boarding school in somewhere else, which was oh, foreign in Sussex. <laughs> <laughs> which was foreign enough. Um, so Wales would be like going, going north of the border. Mate, you'd like it and it'd be a great welcome for you. And if ever you need someone to take you under your wing, yeah, show me around. in the hills and the valleys, <laughs> I'll be uh, more than welcome to. So, breaking play here, and I actually think we're going to see uh, Chippy a little bit sooner than planned. I hope he gets a welcome return as well. He certainly will yeah. do from the players, because they think a great deal of him here. Who is that? Is it Matt Crowley? No, he's no. got black hair. Well, see, Chippy's not as nice. This yeah. is literally the first time I've ever done this show and not had printed team sheets. I am the worst. Uh, I've also got myself into a, a bit of bother on Twitter. Why? Uh, well, so I watched the um, I watched the Worcester game last night. Yeah. And they got they conceded 50, well, 60 odd points yeah. in the end against Northampton Saints. Yeah. And I've just been a little bit frustrated because Worcester have been conceding a lot of points. Bristol have conceded 50 odd against Quinns, yeah. 40 odd against Wasps. Yeah. And then Bath had that nightmare, and it, it frustrates me that teams are able so oh um, what's his name oh, come to me anyway to Carpentier's on it just frustrates me that you can like Worcester could lose by I'm not saying they will because I think there's potential there to play well but you want can, relegation I want relegation that's interesting um, I just want there to be repercussion that's interesting and for for Ealing and Cov mm. and Richmond mm. special place and Pirates like if there's look realistically they know that they're probably not premiership teams mm. but if there's no light at the end of the tunnel what's yeah. the point yeah I get you well there's rumours that in the next few years potentially they could they're going to bring a club up yeah. but I do know what you mean that like there's no competition at the bottom end mm -hmm. it's not just at the top end which is which would be sad to see um Back underway with the scrub to Carpentier on. Andre with the carry gets oh. the offload away to March. Oh, it's forward. Oh, grow up. Yeah. How can you, how can you give that? Right, I'm just uh, trying to get my... Remember, get your questions in as well. Ask the experts, or expert as it is at the moment, because we're still waiting on Archie. Do you reckon he'll turn up? If I was a betting man, no. I don't oh, think that's Oh, that's not forward, it's off Max. Yeah, that's off Max's ample posterior. Yeah. So we have these headsets on, right? And they're not just so I can hear Lennox. Um, there's also a director who speaks to me. And he's trying to tell me something right now. But it's so incredibly quiet, I can't hear you. But this is the only way we can communicate. So I've broken the fourth wall there. I'm so sorry. Send me a WhatsApp. <laughs> um, right, scrum to Bath. First possession of the match for them. Really good field position as well. 
Oh, a bit of space, perhaps. Oh, ball inside for Rocker. God, they've got some supporters here. Yeah, did you hear those? No, no, I did hear, yeah. Nice to, nice to see, actually, that they're sticking with the team, even though things aren't great. Lord mm. hey, has not quite got hands on that. Is that penalty advantage coming as well? Oh, that's miles forward. And it's gone forward. Oh, offside penalty, yeah. OK, the boys line up, the big lads in the middle, waiting for the tap and go. Dom is having a little word. Oh, they're going for the posts. Swap. It's weird though, isn't it? Because mm. obviously that is completely the correct decision, yeah. but I've watched so much Harlequins. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's tries or nothing. Yeah. I don't, recall, I don't recall the last time we kicked a penalty, actually. I do. Sale. Oh, there you we go. Kicked, and it was... And uh, so I went on the Harlequins podcast this week, yeah. and they were like, oh, that was our first shot at goal. Really? Yeah, all season. Wow. Other than conversions, obviously. Yeah, wow. Uh, and then I pointed out... Oh, Archie's coming. Oh! Wow. Uh, they kicked the penalty, 7-3. Yeah. Well, I'm lucky I'm not a betting man. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. So 7-3. Um, Bath escape with some points. I say escape. Escape is probably the wrong, the wrong word to use. But first minutes to the 22, mm. first points for them. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they'll be pleased with that. Uh, Archie's here. Yeah. <laughs> take your time, mate. Take your time. There's no, no, there's rush, no at all, rush at mate. all. Uh, restart. Play, right, they can see, mate. Tell you what, the full tracksuit. The full tracksuit, the nice, trackies and the t-shirt. is he, really good. He's a Chelsea player. Uh, Tyrone's taken that. Uh, turn that on, Archie. Can you hear us? Nope. You can't. T talk into the microphone. Uh, not that one, the one in your hands. Hello? Yeah, Hello. Can, you, can you hear me? No. You can't hear us. You can't hear us. Uh, someone will come along to fix that in a minute. Um, you were warming up, mate. How are you getting on? Uh, yeah, it was good. Um, the boys look pretty sharp in the warm-up. Um, yeah, I think, I think they're, they're buzzing for it. You know, there's a lot of talk about in the week what Bath was saying about us. Um, oh, what were, what were well. they saying about us? Well, uh, how they're going to open us up at the start and mm. you know really come for us and um, you know yeah we scored early doors which is yeah always a good way to sort of answer that that sort of question. Oh, um, Crossfield here, good um, match. Yeah. Good chase. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is your debut on the show. It is correct. Yeah, yeah good to have Finally you. Only invited me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, mate, look, I've only been waiting all year. Don't talk to me about this. You're invited every week, but the word's too big time for off. Definitely not. It doesn't fit my description. Um, so DC kicks up over halfway. Liner on the chase. Oh, gets oh, one back. Uh, we were talking earlier off Carol. Oh, that's spilled up the side. Turn of. Oh, because Miz pushed him. A couple of silly pens. Um, off camera, but now I'm going to take it on camera. We were talking about Lewis Liner's uh, Barnet. Have you got an opinion? <laughs> wow. Well, it's better than what it was before, I have to say. Uh, Do you think? I quite like it. I like the mullet. Uh, Do you? Yeah. Yeah. It's very much like an Australian New Zealand thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is, actually, to be fair. You, um, yeah, yeah, but, mate, he is one of the most Surrey boys I've ever met in my life. <laughs> he lives yeah. on the road. Yeah. Through and through, yeah, definitely. So just just before we get into this, you can't hear anything in your headphones. Right, okay. Liam's in. We can't see him on the shot, I don't think, but he's gonna try and uh, he's gonna try and fix it. What we're looking at now is everything being turned up and then there is a blind panic because Bath are on the ball here, sending the, the big men forward. Uh, clear this up for me. Ojomo, Ajomo. Ajomo. Ajomo, okay. A Jomo. Yeah, there is me. Yeah, he's, Mate, you can't he's walk. Still really good. Offloading is pretty good. Yeah, yeah, he's really good. Well, good yeah. Uh, and Bath back in the 22 here, mm. sending oh, Big Benno oh, forward. Oh, oh, oh my word! Let's go, March. Let's go, March. Let's yeah, go, March. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Come on, Come on. How long has he got to spend on the ball? That's a joke. How long has he got to spend on the ball? Turnover. No, no, but yes, Mark. Let's go. Let's have a go. If Andre gets wide, mate, yeah, I know, Jeez. yeah. Come on. Come on. That's a nice little ball. Oh, so uh, Jay Chiz has picked up the nickname the Vanilla Gorilla, okay. and I'm here for it. Is that self-given or? Uh, no, yeah. no, no, it's <laughs> from. Oh, it's strong. yes. I like it. Caden's a strong boy. Yeah, yeah. Um, Now it was uh, Ali Stokes who okay. coined that, and okay. I think it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good one. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, he is explosively strong, isn't he? Yeah. 
Very much, very much so. Yeah. So Quinn's in their own half, about 10 metres outside. So every now and then, Archie, just to fill you in, because the game is on telly today, I'm just trying to update like field positions and things. So okay, yeah, if yeah. there are just these out of context, this is where the ball is. That's know, the that's reason. Okay. Uh, Buff back on the ball on the halfway oh, line. Looking to play here. Oh, it's quick. Yeah, it's very quick. Good tackle. Now go, go for it. Go Ty, go Ty. Hold it, hold it. How? Yeah! yeah. Oh, fella. So I find myself getting frustrated, like how long do you have to be on, it seemed like he was on the ball for an eternity then, mm. to the point where we talk about player welfare, I think, I think the ref has to give that penalty quicker yeah, because yeah. he's been on the ball long enough yeah. for the person jackling to get clattered. Yeah, yeah. So he, there, that's the penalty before, yeah. who is it comes in, oh before 130 yeah, yeah, kilos yeah, second yeah. row. Three, three, three lads come and work them out. All the moment of truth, get the headset oh, on. Here we go. Can you hear? Yeah. Well, okay, welcome easy. to the game. <laughs> yeah, it's tuned in. Now. So we now have two experts. Experts. <laughs> That's you two. Um, <laughs> ask them anything. Get your questions in uh, wherever you're watching, YouTube, Facebook, in the comments section. Or if you're in one of the rows of crowd in front of us, you can definitely hear every word we said. Hopefully we're not ruining the match <laughs> experience. Uh, Quinn's with the line out just inside the bar half, 7-3. 13 minutes on the clock. Credit to Bath. They look like they've come to do a bit. Yeah. Well, I think after getting pumped that badly, oh, you, you have to show up right the next week. Yeah. But do you know what? The, I think the pumping was so bad afterwards that they probably didn't even have a rollicking. No. True. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I agree. depressing enough as it is. Marcus floats one out to Caden. Oh, Caden. Oh, nice. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. Honestly, it's just... Just plays rock and roll. Yeah, rugby. no, he's... It's been amazing. So on the, on the line, it's tackled well too. Oh, oh. Great, easy. See, now a normal team, we've won a penalty, a normal team goes for the posts here. This is going in one direction, one <laughs> direction only. Funny if they went the other way now, wouldn't it? Hey? <laughs> It'd be funny if they went for posts now. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Do you think they will? No, I'm not I sure. I, I can't predict anything here. No, there's no point, is there? No, I don't think so. Yeah. Very good. What's the? Oh, is that is that Chippy just getting completely trapped on the wrong side there? Or oh no, it's uh, off feet from uh, under the nose. Yeah. Very good. Here we go then. Line out. What six-ish meters out? Oh yeah, wow, quick to close, yeah. Um, not involved today, but uh, Tommy Allen's been pretty accurate with yeah, the Yeah, he's, a, he's amazing so. as well, yeah. Yeah, I think he's been really impressive. Mm. Yeah. Get that uh, mic nice and close to you so we can hear you, mate. Don't be scared. Sure. You've got such a lovely voice if people <laughs> want to hear it. Ball at the back of oh, good oh, hands. Oh, great grab. Tommy nice Lorde. Come on, boys, get oh, us. Well, that's Walker me. fancies it against his old team. <laughs> Come on, Wacker. Short side. Yeah, I'll be on it. I'll be on. Look at Lewis. Look at Lewis. What is Dino doing up there? Just give it to Lewis. Find oh, Lewis. No. Oh no. Oh, here's the goose. Let's go. Oh, here we go. Try some good try. That's a good tackle. Oh wow. That's yeah, a really good. good tackle. Yeah, at the blind side. At the blind side. Oh, two tries. How? I want to see a hat trick. I want to see a hat trick. Yeah, he's definitely getting a hat trick. It's too early. Oh, we love this. Wrong arms. <laughs> <laughs> Is there, um, is there punishment for hat-trick avoidance? No, I don't think there is. Because if there was, Lewis Liner would be in all kinds of trouble. <laughs> How well does Danny do there, though? Yeah, yeah really, really well. Just sees the space and... Um, to be fair, I mean, Dre's going over there no matter what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Old stop there. Yeah. A little bit of space. Yeah, he's already taken the scrum half over the try line with him once <laughs> yeah. today. Why not make it twice? Um, great. Yeah. Two visits to the 22. Yeah, Two points, meat pies. Probably. See if Marcus has brought his kicking boots by scoring yeah. the ball on the. He gets them all on the touchdown, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, so, as I said, we're in the DHL stands. The kick is from over on the Charles Stanley stand. But we know if it's gone over immediately because the crowds are either either cheering, but if he misses it, the groan is brutal. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah. Yeah. Go on, Marcus. Sort his hair out, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> 
couple of times, like three or four. Just so much of it, isn't there? <laughs> it's a real thatch. Then he gets a haircut every week as well. Yeah, we'll talk we're about, talking about that earlier. About that. Yeah. <laughs> And how he paid 200 quid for a year's worth of haircuts. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, It's probably a good deal when he yeah, does Yeah. Oh. No. Oh. No. Drift across the face. I'm not going to it. Commentate his cast. It is. It is. Do you know, the thing is, though, because we're going to miss him so much, assuming he's going to be involved with England in the autumn and in the Six Nations, mm. uh, he's probably not going to finish top scorer in the Premier League. No, year. yeah, he won't. And I'd imagine he'll be fuming about it. He's had it for quite a few years now, hasn't he? Yeah, well, he's... He scored over a thousand points. Yeah. Which yes, is insane. Yeah, that That's a great kick. Yeah, I know, really good stay, kick. Stay, stay, stay. It's strong. That's a really good restart. March is good underneath them, though, isn't Maybe he? Yeah. loves the high ball. Under the high ball is a joke. Yeah. So I've spoken to a couple of lads about him because he strikes me as the kind of guy, because of his big rugby skill set, he strikes me as the kind of guy who would um, be naturally good at all sports, but apparently that is not the case at He's all. He's terrible at football. Yeah, terrible is football. he? Yeah, like, like so he bad at football. Southampton. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it says a lot about him. Yeah. <laughs> who's, uh, who's your team, Arch? Arsenal. Oh, yeah. Big win last night. Big win last yeah, night. Yeah, Uh-oh, really. great pick. Could he keep that clean sheet, though? Mm. Our Ramsdale oh, wow. didn't sort me out on the Has that been charged yeah. yeah. Hopefully. Or is it a shank? Um... Yeah, it's going better than it was a month ago, Could isn't it? Oh, yeah. So I am a 30-something from South Wales. Who do you think I support? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the Welsh football team? Obviously Man United. Oh, so. oh yeah. Yeah, everyone does. I tell does, you yeah, what, such they, a, yeah. So Marcus, when I told him that, because we had a similar conversation when he was on the show, he properly got the arse with me about it. Yeah, but he's a fake know. Man United fan as well. But he was like... What, what, Man United? Sing me a song then. <laughs> yeah, me a yeah, song. yeah, yeah, that's kind of, yeah, he's yeah. a fake Man United And fan. then I told him that I had a season ticket back in the day. He's like, nah, you didn't. <laughs> I'm like, no, no, I, I genuinely <laughs> did. Uh, Dino's taken a good line-up ball there, did get deflected, and it's our ball inside our own 22. Up come Bath to defend. Better kick. Chase on it from Liner. Needs to close the gap there. They're, they're running that blocking line well on, mm. the, um, on the catcher, aren't yeah. they, Bath? Yeah. I think, it's, I think it's something that teams work on quite a lot now. Yeah. yeah. There's so many kick threats are coming in. Um, yeah, it's definitely a thing that clubs work on. Yeah. Is that? I mean, I know neither of you lads are wingers, um, <laughs> but is is that kick chase where it just goes back and forth the worst thing about playing 11 it's, or 14? It's terrible. It's so, it's, it's so bad. When you're a forward, you're just stuck in the yeah, middle. You're you, just doing shuttles yeah. the whole time. So, uh, yeah, well, I need a bit of honesty from you here, Archie, because how often do you run shuttles and how often do you think it's <laughs> just coming back? I'll, I'll, just stand, on, I'll stand on the halfway yeah, line. Yeah, I, I try to get myself in a good position where I can go either way quite quickly. Yes, yeah, um, yeah, you either need to put the afterburners on yeah, forwards yeah, 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 or yeah, yeah. back. Um, but yeah, or pray for a shank or <laughs> a miss kick. <laughs> or a knock on or something. <laughs> yeah, please. Good kick. Good oh, Go on, Dean. Yes, Dean. Dino's oh. done well there. So Quinn's ball just inside her own half. Move it, move it, move Everyone. It. Oh no, I like it. 50, oh, 50 20. Oh, oh no. no. Right, position. Yeah. You've been practicing your 50 22s? Just across the road, my uh, okay. just across the <laughs> How much do you see kicking as a part of your game as your 12 skill set? I think it's important. Um, obviously, you want to be a passer and kick threat. Uh, so I, I try and get in here and there, like little grubbers as well. Mm -hmm. Um, but obviously the bread and butter is the carrying, the, the passing, so I've got to spend a lot of time on those bits as well. Okay. All right, I'll give you that. And, and you know, you will always have that cross field in <laughs> pre-season. Yeah. There's a new item of stash in the Quinn's shop as Bath in the line-out. It's the champion oh scarf, and it is black with the gold writing. That's quite nice. Really smart. I've just seen a couple of supporters with them now as uh, Ben Opano is carrying, like the, the phrase wrecking ball is yeah. used too often, but he genuinely looks deadly every yeah, time. Yeah, massive. He's a strong lad, he is. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Oof, they've kicked away knock-on possession there, so Marcus can kick it from inside the 22. Pumps it up the line, ball stays in field. Oh, oh there's, a, there's a chance for them here. That's not a great kick. Sorry about that. Uh oh! Uh, oh! Kick charge down. Rocco so on the charge. Tackle. Yeah. He's got to be what? One ten? Yeah. Have we nicked that? Yeah. Do you know what? Oh, feet. And they've nicked it straight back, have they? No. No, we've Oh, Thomas! Thomas! 
Thomas in the scrum half. <laughs> Did you hear him on the Good Bad Rugby podcast? No. I don't know, don't know if you're nosy enough to listen to it, but he just just speaks really well. Yeah. Just a good bloke. Isn't yeah, he? great bloke. He's such, such a good bloke. He spoke about his uni thing. I saw a little clip. Oh, mate, you don't need to start oh. me on uni rugby. <laughs> yeah, he loves Matt. I am the I am the ultimate uni rugby nose. Oh, really? oh, I love it. Nice good. Oh, good take. Bath come again. Oh, Shot. good tackle oh, on oh. Chippy. He chucks the offload. Mr. Seven's himself. Nice chance. Good cover. Uh, so Bath with the ball, bang in the middle of the pitch. Okay. Quite enjoying this game, actually. Mm, yeah, it's quite competitive, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's really nice. DC's underneath it. Great, great, great. Oh, oh. God, God, God. oh ha God. Ha Harlem Globetrotters. I thought Caden was thinking about kicking it's it so in midfield. Yeah. <laughs> I think he was then remembered who he was, <laughs> and as a result, didn't bother. The DC just slowing it down in the midfield. It's been quite fast minutes. pace, hasn't it? I think mm. so. Mm. That's been accurate. Which Cole probably Go won't punch you for. Oh, Mark <laughs> has been unlucky there. He's just tapped it back and the ball's gone out uh, for a bath line out in between halfway and ten. Oh, Will Collier. That try was a <laughs> hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen it move so fast. As an well. at all. <laughs> yeah. do, do you think Will Collier... What's the penalty for? Awesome. Oh, bar penalty. Chance for them to kick into our 22. Um, I can't see what it that's won't be for. That. It won't be that, no. Uh, um, do you think... Oh, they've just... Yeah, they've just edged into the 22. Do you think Will Collier single-handedly... Uh, keeps Rob Buchanan's butchers in business. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Um, yeah, that's all he talks about, I, I think, uh, is uh, where he's gone out to eat or <laughs> what he was eating last night. So, um, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know Cole super well. Like we've had, we had him on the show once mm. when he was coming back from injury, but he's been in the squad pretty much consistently yeah. since then. Yeah. But I follow him on socials and it's always like, just picked up some steaks <laughs> from the butcher's table, just got some pork chops from the butcher's table, just... Uh, yeah, 100%. Oh, yeah. Dino's pinched that. Oi, and great news. We've got some fan questions on oh, my phone. Sorry. So uh, next time the ball goes dead, lads, brace yourselves. <laughs> How's your trigonometry? I don't know. <laughs> What's just happened there? He's absolutely shaking. He's shaking his kick, yeah. Oh, no, he's dived into that. Oh, come on. You can't give a penalty there. Did he jump into the tackle? Well, I don't, okay. I don't understand how it could have worked like that. I think they're going to look at the screen for this. If this results in a card, I'm going to be furious. Yeah, I'm down, down. No, oh, it's not, it's not, come not rolling away. Okay. Uh, question from Adam Brace for you, Lennox. Mm -hmm. What's it like working with club legend Jordan Turner Hall? Not just because it's great privilege and all that yeah. uh, but uh, as a as a centre who yeah. did so much great for the club what's it like being um, one on one with him it's been really really good like he, he does a lot of academy stuff so I, I spend a lot of time with him um, in and around stuff like like carrying and tackling um, and obviously as you said earlier he was, like, he was really really skilled like a really good player so he has like a lot of like nuggets of information to kind of pass on so, so it's, it's nice having him there Oh, and I, like he does a lot with everyone actually so like mm. I don't know if you've done bits of him before but he does like loads of tackle contact area stuff and Jacqueline and stuff so yeah he's been really good Bax Jacqueline we've been talking about yeah, that yeah we've been speaking about that Bax, Bax do, do breakdown work every, every yeah, Tuesday it's good it's good I think yeah. um, have either of you got any pre-match superstitions no I actually don't uh, none none no. oh, um, boring uh, yeah it is a bit well, boring sorry I've I have something I do every game, but I wouldn't say it's a superstition. Oh, Marla could be in trouble here for no arms there. Are oh, they looking at him? The... This is, right, so this is, this is the kind of thing... No, I think he's rapping in the end. This is the kind of thing where um, I, where I might just turn the screen off. Yeah. <laughs> just put, yeah. A, yeah, just yeah, put yeah. a logo up. Yeah. Just put a logo up. Do because, we control that? 
No, because they hadn't asked for this, but the AR was looking at it. So watch Marla here. Is no, he, he's, is, going, he's going to wrap, though. That's the thing. Is this a no arms? Because it's a great, it's it's a chop tackle. He's going to wrap. His left arm looks yeah. like I No, I can't, I don't think you can give a penalty for no, that. No, he's going to wrap. I just don't understand why he's jumping into it. He's run into two big blokes there as well. Yeah, that's two to run into. So right. yeah, so March, oh, goodness Wait, me. we're lucky Andre didn't get taken off. Yeah. It's, yeah, so if you've ever watched Joe Marler tackle, he's going to yellow, yellow card him. No, I don't think so. Oh, can you hear him? I can't hear him, no. But he's talking about it for a long time. No, he's saying his left arm. And I, that is... Oh, no, it's the yellow card. He's a bit getting... Yeah, coming down from red. Oh. That's how they work now, isn't it? They go red. Yeah, kind of it just shouldn't be yellow. He's, he's going to wrap. It's I don't understand yeah. what he can do. He, it's a chop tackle. He tackles like that mm, all, all the time. <laughs> it's all the time. Unbelievable. Oh goodness! So we don't hear the referee. And the, oh right, sorry, no one is because the game isn't on BT. <laughs> right, that's terrible. I need to explain to you part? what's happened there. Um, the crowd are booing because Joe Marler has been sent to the sin bin uh, for a chop tackle on the back fullback. He was already off balance because he was being tackling, tackled. Marler has gone in low um, and it's resulted in the Bath player's legs going above the horizontal. But looking at the replays, it just appeared to be the kind of technical tackle that Joe Marler always makes. Maybe I'm looking at it through Quinn's coloured spectacles but I would see that as a rugby incident mm. but player welfare is of the utmost importance oh. now Harlequins have got some defending to do because the score is Quinn's 12 Bath 3 uh, Bath have a line out 5 metres from the line and Harlequins are a player down they've secured the ball they've got in with a catch and drive early and they're going to score and they have scored it's tough to defend it yeah it's, it's very tough, tough to go around with mm. it's tough Oh, do, do they set it like that? Oh, there's yeah, a bit of uh, rumble as well. A bit of afters. <laughs> Look at James Chisholm. James Chisholm. <laughs> the vanilla gorilla. I think he's James... good friends with uh, Yulzi. I think that's why. Oh, OK. James yeah, Chisholm's cool. found something hilarious. I... Oh, it's also Luke Pierce. Oh, it's mine. I'm not sure... Um, yeah, that's, that's frustrated me somewhat. Yeah, it's quite annoying. Uh, right, anyway, back to fan questions. Thank you. That's a great like, oh my word. Oh, right, so, Queen's 12, Bath 8. Game on. Quite annoying. Yeah. Hate it when this happens. I think we're a bit off a point a minute for Quinn's. <laughs> Not far off a point a minute in the game, though. No. 20 points, 26 minutes gone, kick to come. Shanks, yeah. Orlando Bailey on the kicks. So talking to Will Chenham about Orlando Bailey yeah. earlier. A very talented player. Mm. Apparently renowned in the England age group for being a proper teacher's pet. No, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like proper, proper. Real noise. Yeah. Good bloke, but yeah, he's real He's a good player, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, sick yeah. player, yeah, so it worked, didn't it? And the response from Bath. Yeah. You've got a grab your luck when you get it and that's exactly what they got there great catch and drive not a lot of resistance from Quinns to be fair 12-10 8 minutes left on the card uh, and Quinns get us restarted keep your questions coming in ask the experts uh, restart great take on the restart as well and then they look to drive a few metres too. Quinns need to get their heads sure. back in the game after that. Dino no adds his now. ample... Yeah, exactly. No, no piggybacks. Make the exit difficult. Mm. There goes, man. Yeah, now it does, does go to ground. Come on, Thomas. Oh, yeah, Don't run away. Don't run away. Don't run away. Oh! Yeah, lovely lads. So what's Thomas done there? What have I missed? Uh, so the rule is if a mall gets taken down to the ground legally, you don't have to roll away. And uh, refs tend to give, to give it quite quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, so he's just got himself through one of the seams and then the ball's come down and he's not rolled away and we get the turnover. So it's Fantastic. Got, it's to us. Yeah, it's mm. great work from him. Uh, Why is coming on? Let's go roll. What? Why? I think Wackers a little knock. 
so oh so oh, santi really? santi and riley on um and we will that's riley yeah he doesn't look like a 20 year old well he's a grown man he's like 35 <laughs> i'm telling you might as well have two kids so whackers going off making his way we don't know if that's a permanent change yet but uh and it's lorde who's coming off to make way for santi so a change in the front row collier santi and riley it's a hia yeah it's a tunnel Lord is north as well, yeah. Yeah. So we'll be scrubbing with seven. So I'd imagine this will be in and out pretty quickly. Oh, no, we've March at seven. March at open side, eh? I've always been confused about this. So you have to put eight people in no, the scrum? No, 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 no. Why are we doing that then? Because the props need the weight. Oh, they actually? Yeah, they asked for it, yeah. Oh, really? Um, that's yeah, quite interesting. Try and lock it down. It's fair. You're missing uh, on 100 kilos, whatever, yeah, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, it's 100 and something, yeah. yeah. What are you tipping the scales at at the moment, Arch? Uh, 107, 108, so not too bad. Okay, really, <laughs> not really too bad. bad. <laughs> Solid scrum. March will be saying that's all done yeah. to him on the open side. Andre takes it and bumps off the it. first man. Oh, it's hold it, I reckon. Oh, it's been turned over. Yeah. Oh, oh, here we go. Trouble here for Quinns. Oh, that's not a clever kick. That's no, a great kick. Yeah, hey, oh, good too, sorry. I've, uh, yeah, that that in fact, is a very clever <laughs> kick. Ignore me. Great kick. Because <laughs> he's gone from getting bumped to kicking the 22. Uh, yeah. Do you know, it's weird because we're, we're two months into the season, but I'm still adjusting yeah, my weird. thought process to it. Oh, I, what? I, kick. oh my word. <laughs> yeah, in fact, that's, that's probably one of the best kicks of the season. Ignore me entirely. Sorry, okay. everyone. Um, that's your man, Joe, Yeah, I know. I'm quite annoyed about that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think he was in the squad today. No, he wasn't in the original Bane yeah. squad. We literally had a pet. Oh, we're going to score up there. Mm. So they turned the ball over from the Andre carry. It wasn't the cleanest of offers, as you said. Should yeah. have perhaps held it. Oh, Dino going up for that. and But then Barkett on the front foot again, looking for a similar score to last time. Yeah, get around that corner, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, that chisel on there as This is a purple patch for them, and I'm pretty stressed about this. I'm not going to lie to you, but still making metres. No, we've, we've did it quite, we've quite well, haven't we? Six metres out. Boys at the back, Simo being a nuisance and not having to change his bind. Nice, man. Oh, oh great nice. pick yeah, up. Yeah, God, yeah. that's a good pick up. Oh, and yeah, he lost it. Excuse me, uh, referee, can we have a look at that very obvious knock on, or are we just going to keep playing rugby like it didn't happen? We're going to keep playing rugby like it didn't happen. Yeah. Yeah. But with a penalty advantage as well. What? Um, did we. Did that ball go to ground forward, or have I imagined that? I, I thought so. I'm, I'm not I'm quite confused. Bath looking to play ball yes, here. Caden um, Murley with a good cover tackle. Doesn't grab the man though. Blast the rock, yeah. Yes, my Let's go, Chief. Underhill. No, Simmons. Just... Simo making the tackle. And Underhill getting through. Very strong, strong footballer. Man, Chippy having a pick and go. I'll be fuming if he scores. Oh, they have scored. Yeah. Yeah. Bath leads. Bath leads. 12 15. Yellow card ball. Yeah. Yeah. as well. So, but again, why why aren't we looking at the knock on that happened straight in front of the referee? I don't know, maybe maybe they'll check it. I'm not sure. They won't check it because it happened three phases ago. That reminds me of um, the forward pass from Sale. Oh, don't even get oh, me started. That was yeah, a joke. Yeah, that was that was bad. Yeah, didn't even look at it. That's a good carry. I mean, it's a good finish. There's a number of good carries there. Chippy's mm. done well. Good clear outs off that carry as well. And, Right then, boys, we're behind the eight ball here. They've, well, they will score 14 points during the yellow card period, but too. I don't think it's a Quinn's game if we're not behind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. true. Yeah. <laughs> uh, conversion's good. It's gone over the north stand into the car park, so someone's going to have to go and fetch that. And it is past 17. Quinn's 12. Don't see this yellow card out now. Yeah, I do as well. Uh, oh. Come on, lads. Half an hour, well, 32 minutes gone on the clock as well. On the bright side, we're going to get all the second half tries in front of oh, us yeah, here on Harlequin's yeah. Live. Remember, get your guesses in to have a chance of winning this jersey. Who do you think? Oh, yeah. Archie, ask Archie. Yeah, who do you think is going to be the last Harlequin's try scorer? Archie, who do you think oh. is going to be the last? Mm. Another good take from the kickoff. Uh, I'm going to go. Lewis Liner. Lewis oh, Liner. Is that already gone? Or no, no, no. I'm only hey, mate, it's, not, it's also, it's not like oh, a... Um, 
it's not like a raffle ticket. <laughs> and, you know, you can. Well, just, I get to win the shirt as well. Just because somebody else has, uh, has said to Lewis Lyon doesn't mean you can't too. <laughs> Right, they have box clear this time. Tyrone is under it. Oh, he, oh he's oh, gone wrong. Just about. Yeah. Oh, Tom, Tom, Tom Tom Lord. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, change it, mate. They must have seen oh, oh, That is bullish. Oh, oh. DC oh, little shot. chip through for Marcus to chase, and he can't oh, quite get there. Wait, why is, he, why is there. Cipriani on? Oh, oh, oh turn right. over. How have we got that? So so nice. Oh, he's worth playing the nine. So Harlequins three meters from the line in this mad yes, weird Riley. game. Sam Riley picks and goes. Quinn's knocking on the door again. Did you say Cipriani's on? Yeah, yeah. Cipriani's on. Penalty advantage coming for Quinn. So oh, that's nice. Collier sets it up. Plenty of width to work with. Bath calling defenders out, but Quinn's Dean. keep it Dean. narrow. Dean. And Dino Dean. goes laterally, runs into a couple of big men, and could he get held up here? He's doing his best yeah, to find the four oh, and does. That's a bad fold. That hurts. I hope he's been doing his yoga because otherwise <laughs> oh, something's hurts. gone pop. We're going to go back for the original okay, penalty. Um, Rich de Carpentier always looks like he's been in the worst pillow oh, fight tapped. ever. We've yeah, tapped, yeah. We've tapped we and gone and Lewis Line has been stopped five oh. metres short. Quinn's looking for a bit of tempo here but Bath managed to slow it down. So the big men pile in. Quinn's looking for a third try still, oh, down to 14, it. it's been oh, knocked on it. by Andre Esterhazen. Oh, like like but if Quinn's chill, if somebody takes a knee here, yeah. it should be Marla enough time on, for yeah. Marla to be back on. All day as well. So, first real scoring opportunity for Quinn's missed as there was good press of pressure from a Jomo on Esterhazen then. What's that, hat-trick? Yeah. yeah. I always prefer him taking the ball going forwards than stood still, though, you know? It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> there, it's Collier who's down, and I do wonder whether or not this is just an opportunity for him to... Yeah, so Cipriani's on. We're in number 22. Maybe... Hang on, let's have a... The Glanville's off. Right, so will that be Cipriani at 15 and yeah, Bailey at 10, I maybe? Think so, yeah. Good option to have a 15, crikey. Yeah. Well, uh, it might be Bailey at 15. Yeah, Bailey's played yeah. all that before. So it's all changed, but what we do know is we've got about five minutes until half time. Bath have come from behind. It was 12-3. It's now 17-12. They've had two converted tries and a penalty. Quinns have had two Andre Esterhays tries. One of them converted by Marcus Smith. Mm -hmm. Questionable yellow card. To be honest, Bath fans would probably say red card, six week suspension. <laughs> Quinn's fans would say rugby incident, so yellow card is probably yeah. about right. Um, oh, that's a good shot on yeah. Tyrone. Talk about few things, isn't it? Yes. Oh, that's um, Max, that's what Clark. you call it? Max Clark. Clark? Yeah. Strong lad is. He had yeah. a. He had a Reasonable game last time, you know, when they. Oh, he did, here. didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. He's got a lovely main here. But it's Marl. Yeah. Marl's not on yet. Marl is still not on, even though we believe the 10 minutes to be up. Uh, it would be a serious 50 22 from here. <laughs> Tyrone's in the backfield. Caden Murley's okay. defending quite okay. narrow, actually. But eight goes, runs straight into Marcus, and then Thomas arrives to make the tackle. <laughs> to Carpentier, nice, literally man. tackled around the chin strap by Simo, but he's got away with it. That was that looked a little forward, and it was. Oh, great work. Yeah. I don't know why I just want to play out from the 22. Yeah. Just kick it downfield. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Especially when they've got, they've now got kicking options at 10, 12, and 15 yeah. as well. But I don't mind. Is that Marla back? Yeah, Lorde is yeah, there. Lourdes, yeah. yeah. I can't, I can't see Joe either. Huh? Uh, yeah, so Lord is back. So we oh, are back up to... Oh, there he is. <laughs> 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 Lord is back. Oh, so Santi's back up. Does that mean Rapids failed his uh, HIA? Yeah, I think he would have. Must have done, must have done. Okay. So we're going to get a good look at Sam Riley. Yeah, yeah. first time playing... Yeah, probably the most minutes. Yeah. Yeah. They like him though, don't they? Yeah, he's good. He's really he's good. good player, yeah. mm. We've got a lot of good young hookers. Him, Muskie, Jed. Yeah. Jibs, yeah. Nathan Jibs, yeah. 
There's loads of them. Let's check for the uh, let's check for the questions. Remember, we are right here until the end of the match. Then afterwards, we'll be getting live reaction as well. Okay, still no questions. Well, some questions. I'll keep them for later. Scrum to Quinns, bang on the 22, just to the left of the posts. Four minutes to go till half time. Uh, Danny steps inside, Don Brandt on the overlap, bumps off the first man, but then gets swallowed up, and that's all nearly oh, turned yeah, over. Too. Little nudge in behind for Lewis Liner to chase. Can't quite get there, but Quinn's still in a good field position. Good cover there from Orlando Bailey. It does look like he's slotting in at, at 15 now. Oh. Oh. Penalty, Bath. Oh, quite frustrated that we're behind on the scoreboard. Yeah, we should be. It feels like we should be winning by quite yeah. a bit. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah, you wouldn't say Bath have been bad, but just. The no. Game, the game sort of slowed down a bit, hasn't it? Yeah, it has a lot, yeah. Sort of kit to kit, mm. uh, line out to scrum. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Still. Full house here, looking to enjoy themselves. We just got the benefit of the replay there. Tell you what the penalty was for. So Marchant chased down Bailey. Or was it Marchant or Lorde off their feet? March. March. Yeah. See, Bax doing Jacqueline. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair to Joe, I think he's in an all right position there. Just, yeah. Uh, for a clear out. Yeah, Good line up ball to Chippy on the halfway line. Goes to ground, but legally. Oh, no, not legally. Mm. See, penalties, boys. Yeah, Come enough. on. Chip. A little chip in behind that Andre should gather and oh, does. <laughs> right above his head, yeah. and he's what, six foot four? So. Human. Four, I think like six five or Is six he? six. Like, I don't know, he's massive. He's played for that before. Yes. Yeah, yes, apparently. Yes. Uh, and it will be the left footer Cipriani with a laser beam, actually. Good nudge. Ten, mm. Takes them to 10 metres out. Yeah, penalties in key areas. It was one of those against Sale towards mm. the end of the game last week that led to that final Rafi Quirk try. Yeah. He can do a bit, can't he? Yeah, he's Rafi good, really good. Electric. He's young as well, isn't he? Yeah, he's oh, my young. Yeah. He came on last season here and he had about 10 minutes and they had a scrum about 30 metres out. And it was he, his... ran, he ran it, didn't he? He stood next to TC, spun the ball on his finger. Yeah. I was like, who is this kid? <laughs> and then he skinned TC, and Aaron Morris makes the tackle <laughs> yeah, of the season yeah, yeah. to stop the try. But anyway, back to this, because Abano... Oh, oh, is he... Oh, no. Abano's really oh, hurt himself no. there. He stepped and straight away hit the ground. Hopefully, just a little, uh, a little twist, but he looks in some considerable pain. That's really tough. He... Is he in the England squad? Oh, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Okay. That sucks. Yeah, so, so he's received the ball, looked to step off the right foot to go into contact and immediately hit the deck. And to be fair, I didn't see who the Quinn's tackle was, no, but I they think, stepped yeah, off yeah. straight away. Oh, no. Sometimes you see that with the, with the big lads. There's just so much torque mm. going through the mm. knee. Remember, they've already lost one player this half bath. Uh, Bridge de Carpentier has come on as a replacement in the back row. They're now thinking about what to do if they need to make a front row replacement. And some of the supporters are taking this as an opportunity to head to the bars. They ran out of beer a couple of weeks ago, didn't they? I heard that, yeah, I, I didn't hear was that. that. Was that the Friday night? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was I'm not surprised, it was Ramo. <laughs> and also, the, you always have one or two extra pints on a Friday night as well, don't you? <laughs> two days to recover so all the medical staff are on now including the uh, the ambulance staff mainly because if you have to take him off the field of play he weighs a lot <laughs> about eight people all hands on deck for the uh, <laughs> it's the, nice it's the part, so. right he is on his feet but pretty gingerly he's trying to play on no surely not oh, no, surely boys not boys are boys are Right, okay, so there is a replacement at loose head, Boyce on, Abano off. Dom is just checking in with uh, with Benno Abano. God, he's a big human, isn't he? Massive. My goodness, is he? Oh, he wants to play on. 
about to do a pistol squat. Yeah, I tell you what, it's not worth that. If he can do a full pistol squat at 100 whatever yeah. kilos, he is some boy. Nah, it's not worth it. Surely not. Yeah, he's staying on there. Wow, okay. But have Marv called Boise on already? Or? Oh, yeah, that's a great question, actually. The yeah. Ch the change was made. Mm. Okay. So Boyce was on, Boyce is now making his way back to the tunnel. Um, Abano is getting some tape applied. Some tape applied, and a significant amount of tape applied to the right knee. And we will restart with a scrum, back putting, and to be fair, unbelievable field position for them. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, definitely. It's so then, yeah, bang on the 22, right in front of the sticks, options both ways, and they would oh. love a try here just before half time. They would. I wouldn't. Either way, we've got a good game of Premiership Rugby on our hands here. Four tries in total, two each. Bath ahead, thanks to the boot of Orlando Bailey. His personal tally, seven points. Just the two for Quinn. So he'll probably feel that after a decent start, they've wasted a bit of possession inside the Bath 22. Yeah. So Collier against Abano. We're not sure what Abano's knee is saying, so watch Collier try and get right into him now. Scrub penalty to Quinn. This is, is the ball as well. Yeah. yeah. I'd be surprised if we see him out for second half. I yeah. think, um, as you say, it's a long season and a long career. Very true. Why risk him? He's such a talent. Yeah. yeah. He's quite young, isn't he? He's still quite yeah, young. Yeah. Yeah. He's Marrow's cousin. Yeah, he's Marrow. Yeah, Mar is he? Yeah, he's Marrow's cousin. Andre kicks for touch with that cultured left boot. <laughs> Yeah, we were talking about his brother earlier as well, weren't we? Yeah, Sue. Yeah, you played with Sue, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Where did you play with Sue? Yeah, Make sure that mic stays close to your mouth so we can hear. At the under-18s academy. Ah, okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, he was good. He used to hey, be part back then. He's now. Oh, oh, oh. oh. See, why why are we messing about with that there? Either way. So he yeah he's uh, he's in the champ now. Yeah, for not not even. My mum's just rang me. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah. C come on, Thinking mum. of you, eh? Is she here or is she... No. <laughs> no, she's not. God, mum, I'm at work. Oh, my God. <laughs> so embarrassing. Uh, so, so it'll be scrum oh, time. So yeah. I mean, if it, go, if it goes to hand, yeah, he's yeah, dining yeah. out on that forever. Because yeah, he loves his footy <laughs> as well, yeah, he doesn't does, he? Yeah. Massive, massive. Big Liverpool fan. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> no, who, so who, did you, who do you follow? Of teams I sport? Yeah. Chelsea. Chelsea. Oh, Might win the league. Yeah, I think. Yeah, we could. We'll see. We'll see. I'll, they just beat uh, Norwich 7-0, didn't they? 7-0? 7-0. Is that? I haven't looked at my phone, yeah. 7-0. I haven't looked at my phone. Are you being yeah, serious? No. Well, Evans won't be happy. Uh, oh, no. no. Well, oh, Mate, this, um, FPL. I spent quite on the bench. I was livid. Yeah, I was so well. angry. Oh, no. I had him on my team, yeah. No, listen. He was, he was on, on the bench. I was livid. Like, what's going on? Seven I put, yeah, I put Havertz in and... Uh, Havertz for a lot. Nope, not once in no, seven nil. Oh, another good scrum from Quinns. It just about goes before the penalty and... Not much. Oh, another... Oh, 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 oh. So oh, that puts Lewis Liner back into That's the 22. Oh. He's going to put... I like it. Boot to ball. That's actually a good kick. Going to go straight nice. down. I think that might take us to half time. Nice, Lou. It does take us to half time. We're back, half. <laughs> I'm not going to say an unlikely lead because we always knew this was potentially going to be yeah. the case, but it is Harlequins 12, but 17. Uh, your thoughts starting with you, Arch, even though you missed the first bit because you were like showering or something. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I think the game sort of fell away from us uh, sort of 20 minutes in. A couple of penalties creeped in, and yeah, I think Bath Bath seems to play quite good forward rugby, and you know, as soon as they start getting in our 22, we struggle. Um, so I think the key, well, my key would be going into the second half would be discipline and um, let's just make sure we exit properly. Yeah. Yeah. Lennox? Um, similar to Archie, just discipline it. And then also just not forcing it. So we had that line out there before the half and I think we could have made good inroads, potentially got a penalty to kick. And we just tried to force it a bit. Um, I think we need to control the tempo a bit more. But yeah. 
12-17 is the score. I'll be back with these lads for the second half. Remember to ask the experts, get your questions in. The more, the merrier. Uh, but now, we're going to take a short break, but you shouldn't, because here are some highlights from Saracens. Elia hoisted to Dombrandt at the back, and here goes Kerr, and Dombrandt's riding side saddle on his shoulder. Back to Kerr, majestic, brilliant Harlequins right at the start. 78 seconds, Saracens punctured. I mean, it might be instinct for the vision, but the pure quality and the execution of the skill is absolutely world-class. On we go, Smith sensing space. Shegan will try to fill it, but look at Elia out there all on his own. And Shegan rather ragdolled, and Elia did well to get it away. Chisholm, and then the ball inside to Marley. Marley scores. And then look at this, when it goes back to Marcus Smith, it's him that sees Elia, Elia, all on his own outside. Now, does he put a foot in touch? No problem there. Wonderful offload over the top. And it's a great try from Harlequins. Matt Gallagher, as he clocking up the miles in the absence of the likes of Alex Good, Liam Williams, Elliot Daly. Smith, oh, he's gone again. <laughs> My goodness, he's gone again. The ringmaster, Lasiki, the bowling ball, back to the ringmaster. A run for the line, and Murley will score. Oh, what a Quinn's up to at the moment. There we go, I'm going to go that way, goes round the corner, pointing his way. The CK, just check on that pass, look flat, no problem to Murley, and he's over. Line Quinn's the line! All the way through for Clark. Four. What about the likes of Kapoko and maybe Barrington? Still not quite, no. Dombran leading the defensive no. effort. Ten, you're miles off. Advantage. And now Kapoku again. Still can't quite get there. Wigglesworth, perhaps now time to engage the backs. And it is, and it's a try for Lazowski. Finally, finally, Saracens with the foot on the ladder. Saracens have got such bulk, so many big players. And eventually, it's one of the slightly smaller players. Look, Lazowski, Cock was set up to go short, and Wigglesworth missed them out, and Jackson Ray. And Lazowski's able to roll his way over. Smith has a look the other way. Penny. A kick that uh, had nowhere near the power on it, but I think Quinns have got away with it. Ricochet back in their direction. Smith again, Imatoye chasing it. There's some room behind, and oh, it needs to come across. Gallagher's there, Imatoye has it, and he scores. Greasy ball, wet surface, a little bit of Harlequin's fortune, and maybe a fourth and bonus point try. Yes, definite try. Yeah, just wants to check the coming together of Ibatoi. It's a decent challenge. They both slid at it for the right time. He's collected it, put the ball down. That's the fourth and the bonus point. Yep. So an attacking line out for Elia. They go short to Dombrandt. Oh, it's just sprayed out the back. He, he's got it again. Pops it up, and the try scored by Paul Asike. Smart play. Bit of innovation from Quinns, but look at this. Pops out the back. Callum Clark's already committed to stopping the drive. All the Saracens players got their heads down. And it's a great try. Kapoku not far away. Just wonder if there's some space out here if they decide to ship it. They've got the penalty. Quinn's defence looked like it's narrowed a bit. Don Morris looks interested. Spencer might now use him. Over the top to Morris and Morris scores. Really good build-up work from the forwards. And then another uh, lovely way to pass from Manu from the pole out. Could have been a number of players that scored there. But a very decent finish. Landaku. Harlequins have brought on another test player, Tavita Thavon Party, the Fijian. Smith, who's had his own impressive game. Oh, that's given away! And Landaco, who's barely had time to say all that, scores a try. 
Lovely little kick from Marcus Smith again, just causing that doubt and confusion and Saracens in their desire just to push the ball a little bit, throwing everything at it. Once more, Lawson Crawford. Simmons has been strong defensively. However, at the end of a week that Mark McCall called the toughest of the season so far, this will be tough to swallow. Saracen's biggest Premiership defeat for four years, and at the hands of Harlequins, who haven't enjoyed themselves as much so far this season.
half here on Harlequins Live. Counting down to the second half here on Harlequins Live. It is Harlequins 12, Bath 17. Bath needed a response and they have got it. They have had a couple of opportunities that uh, they may not have had had the referee and AR not had access to the big screen here in the ground. But Joe Marler has spent 10 minutes in the bin. Quinn scored the opening two tries since then. That's galvanised Bath and they are currently five points ahead. Both teams two tries away from that try scoring bonus point well i think the priority for both of these sides will definitely be to win the match we had some highlights from last time we played saracens that is the next game here at the stoop if unfortunately you can't make it then we will be here doing harlequins live as we are for all of the home premiership and european games thinking about doing the european away days as well not with harlequins live just as a fan we'll wait and see i am joined by Lennox and Archie, who've both heard their names, so panicked to put their headsets on ahead of the second half. And we've had a few uh, few questions in, lads, but it is, uh, it's no surprise. One of them we spoke about when the mics were off. Uh, what, what was it? Oh, I've lost the, I've lost the WhatsApp group. Yeah, bang ba ba the red button on, lads. Uh, Toby Priestley asks, Who's the one player you don't like to have to do tackle practice with? Andre. 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 Yeah. Why? He's just aggressive. Like, he's big as well, but he's actually aggressive. Like, he wants to hurt you. What, even in training? Sometimes. <laughs> Wil Wilco's also. Yeah, oh yeah, Wilco's a good... I forgot about Wilco, actually. Um, I don't understand Wilco's genetics. Mate. Huge. Because, you know, like... When you see him, the supporters who are watching here, they'll have seen him on television, yeah. and he looks like a big guy. But when you see him up close, like, his body parts don't feel like no, they should that, be that big. Like, his so legs, massive. his forearms, yeah. his neck. Like, even his hands are just yeah. more, it's all big. Yeah. And he's quite fast as well. Yeah, like against, yeah, against yeah, yeah. Irish, the Irish away, Irish away, he caught, like, a fullback. So yes, yeah. Back in. <laughs> it's a powerful man. Yeah. Yeah, he kind of defies the laws of physics, really, doesn't he? Yeah. Looking forward to getting him back, hopefully sooner rather than later. Oh, yeah. Bath are back out for the second half, attacking away from us in the second half, so fingers crossed they get Lourdes. Yeah. By Bogle, revs up the vocal cords to get Quinn's back out. Thomas leads them out. And then a couple of lads put the gas on the outside. <laughs> Here's Marcus, white booted. Classic. Yeah, classic. Yeah. What boots are you rocking at the moment, Arch? I've got, I've got two pairs at the moment. I've got the blue and green Predators, Adidas. Oh, yeah. Um, and then I've got a pair of pink Pumas, which I thought... <laughs> <laughs> I'd uh, dip, dip my toe a little bit. Uh, yeah, they're quite nice. Quite like them. So, a Barno off. Oh. We know that. What about you, Lennox? Um, I have a pair of red Adidas football boots. And then um, a nice white pair of Mercurials. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm saving them, though. Interesting that you um, that you both mix brands. We're back in the way. Cipriani on kicking duty now with that beautiful left boot of his. Finds Marchant, who's like a magnet for kickoffs. So good. Um, yeah, interesting that you mix brands. Yeah, I don't know. Good chase on the kick. I think I don't I don't have the kick for goal or anything, so ah, it doesn't really okay. affect me what kind of. So you just just yeah. like fast ones, yeah. yeah. Fast, light, and then looks nice. Has that been knocked oh on? Yes, gosh, it has. Not, is he on the out? Oh, no, he's not knocked out. He's just embarrassed, so he's stayed on the floor. <laughs> and Bath have knocked the ball on, so Quinns will have a scrub uh, right in front of the uh, of the tunnel over on the far side. So we've got confirmation of the teams. Riley is on permanently at hook and yeah. now. That is the only change in the pack for Harlequins. And the back line is the same. So it's Keir Smith, Murley, Esther Hazen, Marchant, Liner and Green. Pretty settled back line. Remember to enter the code BAT10 to get your free Quinn's reward points for this one. So to Carpentier is playing eight for Bath. Um, the front row change is permanent and they've got no changes to the back Good line scrum. yet. Decent scrum through the legs from Don Run. There's Andre carrying forward, getting through the first and the yeah, second match. Quick ball <laughs> here. Green trying to go around the outside, oh. can't get the offload away, and there's a 
Bartha managed to slow the ball line. down. Marcus was desperate for that quickly then. Oh, massive shot on Simo. Take the jack, will you? Quinn's on the 40. Here is Lord A. Tips it on. Bit of space in yes, behind. Yes, possibly. Oh, oh, yeah. Couldn't quite get the offload away. And Bath sniffing around for the oh, turnover. And they get it. That's the replacement prop as well. Is it Car, not Clark? Who's the. Boise. 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 Bo oh, Boise. Geez. <laughs> it's a fresh shape up as well. Yeah. Is. Yeah. He's been on the uh, he's been on the Marcus deal, hasn't he? <laughs> they lived together, didn't they? Yeah, I did, yeah, they did. Yeah, they lived together, and I think they actually got the same deal together as well. <laughs> You've been recently, yeah, though. This morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, have, I have not been as well. Yeah. Right That's, do you know what though? You you go the day before the game. Yeah, just so in, it marinates. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just need that little bit of growth, yeah. or just yeah. in case it's a bad shape. <laughs> And the last thing you want to do is like go at nine in the morning, kick off at three, you're panicking the whole and you've time. just got the bad barnet on your uh, on your mind. So Bath with the lineup, their set piece has been pretty good. Ooh. They're just outside the twenty-two, driving towards the twenty-two. So Quinns have blown their first opportunity of the second half. Can Bath be a bit more accurate? They are creeping into the twenty-two here, and that catch and drive has been a real weapon for them as it's gone one way and the it's other. Simo. It's an awesome. A Simo pinch that are oh, what a Right, he is the unsung hero in this club, yeah. isn't he? 100%. Yeah, exactly. Hundred percent. And he I mean there are a couple of lads who oh god, I mean this with all the love in the world, I could get myself in trouble here because if I have my shirt off it looks like a, <laughs> an ever emptying bag of custard. But when you look at I mean, Dino. Dino looks like a fitness model. Yeah, that's not right. Dino. Yeah. <laughs> um, but Simo less so. But his engine is remarkable. Yeah, so fit. Yes, You've got yeah. fit as in fitness. He's going to make a better yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, no one gets excited there. Um, and quite a big frame as well. Yeah. Like, just a big man. Yeah, big heavy man. Yeah. Um, another lad who might fall into that bracket is Joe Gray. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Categorically, no. Yeah, we'll uh, that Thomas one. picks and goes. Oh, no. so weird, close yeah. line from Cipriani. One of the weirdest tackle yeah. techniques I've ever seen, but it works. The turnstile. Yeah, oh, there we go. Penalty. This one off his feet. So, a couple of freebies for Quinns. Chance to kick for touch. Halfway inside her own half. Um, Joe Gray and his wife just seem to be doing tours of fitness competitions at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think the Myanmar is yeah. really blowing up. Yeah, it's doing really well. Oh, somebody's just knocked the ball on in the crowd. Kick to touch. Opportunity to be a hero. Blow one, it. One job. And the, the first of the game under the lights here against Bristol. Yeah. There was somebody carrying eight pints oh, no. and it missed them by millimetres. Oh, really? oh, like you could hear the whole crowd go. <laughs> um, and obviously, even though we are at Harlequins, the bars are as reasonably priced as they could be. You don't want to lose eight pints. South East London. <laughs> in the Robbo bar. Do you think he's on commission from every pint sold? <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely in Brownie's bar. It's, it's like his. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Brownie's taking every single yeah, Brownie's. <laughs> it's like his equivalent of a final salary pension. That's overthrown and they, oh, they read that and Ooh, Dollars has done gone, so yeah. well. Who's gone? Simpsons out. Oh, good. Oh, is he? Tried to take one of his head off. Yeah. He just caught his head on the wrong side. Oh, high tackle. Yeah, that that looks like a genuine choke on the ball carry then. So Thomas with another carry. Strong carry, good tackle. Is that McAnally? He's yeah, strong, isn't strong he? Strong lad, yeah. Quinn's good field position. Little inside ball. I like it. That's Lorde as far as the 22. Over on the far side now. Thomas again. That's three good it's carries for him. Yeah, Shot at him low. Nice call. Collier. That's that that famous clean. step off the right foot. <laughs> Chisholm does well, but Bath just putting the, the brakes brownie, on Harlequins um, here. Brownie, okay. Dees clean two rucks now. Yeah. The most nice uh, Riley. Riley with a big carry to Carpentier, making a nuisance of himself. Now Marcus looking one way, then the other. Lewis Liner. Quinn's going coast Mate, to they're, coast, they're but not really getting every forward. Breakdown. That might be the natural. Oh, no. March and picks goes up. March and could be in a spot of bother there, but no. Good clear out. Now, Marcus. Little inside yes, ball. Caden Murley crashing through. Bath tackling very well here, but Quinn's inside the hey, Penalty advantage coming. Oh, Some shit. of these shots from Bath are yeah, they're, massive. They're Another oh. penalty coming to Carpentier. Send Something the ball. silly there. It's a yellow. Send him off. 
Send the dirty gets off. <laughs> that was diabolical. That was diabolical. Uh, he's always bleeding. <laughs> he's Shit, he's always bleeding, chippy. He's As I said, bleeding. he always looks like he's been in a pillow fight with yeah. somebody who's put football boots in the pillow. <laughs> <laughs> that is a, a face that is not shy of a no, breakdown. No, not at all, yeah. That's why I'm not a back row. Oh, Have yeah. you seen that photo of him um, that he put on his Instagram where he had one of his teeth kicked out? Oh, I haven't. I haven't actually, no. He's, he's So he's missing... Is that an incisor? I, I don't know. I'm not, he's I'm missing not. this tooth here and it's all swollen up. And, oh. For, oh. he's, look, he's a good-looking bloke, but he looks like an extra from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is always bleeding. You can put any part of your body there if you want, shouldn't yet face will yeah. do. <laughs> so, it'll be a penalty to Quince when we get back underway. First, second, proper opportunity yeah. of the second half. But huge credit to Bath. They look immensely physical. Yeah, good today, yeah, really yeah, they definitely pitched up today. Mm. Yeah, they must have. Yeah, a few uh, a few stern uh, words in the week, and um, yeah, turned up today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Chippy is getting patched up. Interesting. We've got some match stats here: 50 carries for Quinns, 48 for Bath, 170 meters made against 172, and then 18, 16 game line yeah, success. Very equal. That's a that's a good game of rugby. Mm. Yeah, very equal. And it is kicking that separates the two teams at the moment. Yeah, literally it is. Uh, change of scrum half then. Simpson off, Fox on. Fox started last week. Quinn's win the penalty. Incidentally, going for the scrum, or interestingly, should I say, going for the scrum. Mm. I like that. Take them on up front. I like it. Oh, I like it, but I hate it, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> but I hate it. I think it's... Actually, I'm not saying it. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> for, for I curse it. Right. Yes, yeah, I know what you're thinking. Yeah, I yeah. am. The crowd finding their voice as well. I can imagine Cipriani is probably waiting for Andre. To yeah, look how tight they got yeah. Rocco over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Rocco is defending at what would, well, first defender, first man. He's looking after Cipriani. Yeah, oh, he's pulling, he can't get to look. <laughs> yeah. Straight hands. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. Yes. Go, 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 go. Terrible yeah, dive. Oh, oh, he loves it as well. Makes it terrible dive. Terrible dive. Oh. <laughs> One day, he's just, you've got to jump in the stands. Yeah. Just... Yes, mate. He does love scoring yeah. 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 tries. Yeah. 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 It kind of works in his favour though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Holds defenders. Mm. Yeah, little fumble. Gives it the eyes, then round the outside. That's yeah. a lovely finish. 17 17, game on. Yeah, yeah. Big kick. Probably should have run. Probably should have run close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, run your own twice. This is Come on. Oh, we needed that though. Yeah. Eight minutes of the second half gone. First points of the second half. Finally. Uh, it's getting cold here at the stoop, but Archie succumbs. He's going to put some long <laughs> sleeves on. He's just doing the full model, isn't he? Showing us the t-shirt. Showing us the zip-up hoodie. All available in the club shops by gate one and gate three. The champion's merchandise now in stock as well. Conversions come to put Quinn's back into the lead. Marcus, one from two off the tee. Yeah. Yeah. Two from three off the tee. As Blah half always converts his own drive. Yes. Got him, got him really, isn't he? Yeah, he has to be. That's a really good finish as well. It's pure gas. He's gassed the flying mullet on the outside. <laughs> side, Do you know what? The dive the dive to finish it wasn't as clean as it could have been. Uh, a little uh, bit bumpy, wasn't it? Yeah. Legs, legs first, yeah. never a good luck. So Dino has reclaimed the kickoff. Quinn's just outside their own 22. 49 minutes on the clock. And Danny Box is clear. Manable, 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 manable. Good. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, he tripped up. Are you right? Oh, shot. what a shot. Who's that? Andre. Andre. Andre, big shot in the midfield. So, miss, yeah. Kick. Oh, monster boot. Right, oh, that's a shoe, isn't it? Oh, I thought they were going to collide. Here we go. Tyrone, up over the halfway nice line. Tea. Gets up and makes another couple of metres to oh. Carpentier with the tackle. Of course it was. 
Yes, Riley. Little tip on to Riley from Simo. Back guy. over halfway. Not rolled. Penalty yeah. Quinns. Swing, swinging our way again, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> penalties. Yeah. Come on, mate. Dave, you on the show. <laughs> Doing everything you can to ruin it. <laughs> everything you can but Smith will kick for the corner or the 22 at least so he needs to go Oof. that was worryingly effortless yeah <laughs> listen to this It's good to hear him. It's good to see him. It's good to be here. If you're watching at home and you've not been back to the studio yet, hopefully you get the chance to soon. It's pretty special, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's great. Great place to be. Let's go. Right, line out. Riley goes to the back, finds Short Lorde. Let's go. And Quinn starts to move. It's sideways. Plenty of bodies in from both teams. Goes to ground. Oh, no. Referee happy enough that it's legal and turnover. Chippy winning the ball back. Chippy winning the ball back and whispering, should have signed me, lad. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, big scrum for Bath, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah, very, very Tough place to exit from, so. So hearing the songs there, there are a few new player chants doing the rounds. I'm not going to do them here. No, I think you should. No, I want to hear them now. But after the game, if there's a bit of a gathering, I'll, I'll let okay. you in on some okay. secrets. Okay. There's some good ones. I want to hear some of these. There's some good ones. Also, um, made by you, uh, among others. <laughs> oh, Chippy looks like he's been in a car crash. Yeah, I'm telling you. Sorry. That, that might. I would say that might be a broken nose, but how yeah. could you tell? Yeah, yeah. yeah how Blood could everywhere. you? My favourite nose in sport is um, Mick McCarthy. Oh yeah. Because his nose will be pointing straight down the camera, but his eyes won't. It's literally <laughs> on his face sideways. Oh, is that? Um, Touch. Who's... Oh, great. Oh, we turned that yeah. over. Yeah. Who's Nick oh, the Who's Nick that? So Quinn's five metres out, loads of width to play with. Little tip on. Nice. Oh, two oh, again. Great, oh, great shot. Great shot. Marcus, but good, good quick shot. ball. Picked and gone. Nice no, Marcus to get back into the attack. Five metres out. Nice chase. I'm sure that's the right yeah, side. He doesn't there. want any of it. He doesn't want to tackle. What side? Look, <laughs> just... No, he's not interested at all. His shirt's still white. The Vanilla Gorilla looking for the off look. Good tackle on him, to be fair. Space in the set, set. Tired, I think. So Dino fancies it. Go on the Dean. Cipriani sends it to Dino. But he's pushed yeah, in by Lorde there, which I'm not sure I like, Ooh. but whatever. Ooh. Oh, round out the back. Yeah. Marcus has to think to come the other way. Okay. It's all got a little bit static here for Quinn, so we'll push back to about 18, 19 sure, meters way. Play the ball yeah, and go this way. Just get to an edge. So Andre gets rid of one tackler and then gets wrestled to the ground. Quinn's in reverse gear. Mate, that's just off his feet. You can't do that. What? That's one of the maddest turnovers I've ever seen. Now it is on here. It is on for Bath. That's ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Shouldn't have to come in, man. A good tackle. Shot. How? So, to me, oh, Chippy is away. Oh. Two on one. He's dummying it. Oh. Yes. This mate, yes, mate, 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 he's You're the awesome. best at 2v1 defence in the whole of the prep. Who That's is? Tyrone. Yeah? That's twice now. Um, how... Right, you, you're, a, you're a back rower. Correct. You're famed for your breakdown work. Yeah. Talk to me about that turnover and its legality. I think it's tough. Um, I think we might have been a little bit delayed on the clear out, so it gave him just an opportunity, you know. Um, but, you know... It's the ref decision at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. If um, if Chippy Dummy's there, he's in, by the way. I don't think so. Oh, yeah. you, so you think Tyrone's catching Yeah, I think Tyrone's going to catch him. He's quite quick. Yeah, he's quick. Was it against Bath last year where he knocked the ball yeah. out of... Yeah, literally. Yeah. And then against Newcastle when, when he yeah. when he got yes. the wing off, he was, he was running in. Yeah. Oh, it might have been Watts. Watts. Oh, Titty's on. Who for Dino? Big lad, sure. Big lad. A bit of game time for him as well. Look at him. He's best with Ben tomorrow. Oh, no, it's, uh, it's for Simo because Dino's still there. Okay, okay, I like it. 
he I've not well, we've not seen much of uh, of Tiz for a yeah. while. Um, big lump, massive, big lump, yeah, very big. Athlete, rugby player, good rugby player, yeah, <laughs> rugby player. <laughs> um, so who? Who come, is, does Tiz become line-out caller now? Uh, Dino. Oh, Dino's oh. been taken out hey. there, thank you. Yeah. 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 Dino's been taken out in the line-up, which was deep in the Quinns 22. Go on, Dean. Uh, Go on, Dean. Bear Bear Go on, Dean. Bear 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 Go on, Dean. <laughs> so Yules has walked back. Um, Dino was trying to give him some. <laughs> Lorde decided that he also right to give him some, and then who did he have to walk past? Tiz. Tiz gave him a bit of chest. Yes. A couple of, couple of big lads, which, to be honest, when you've taken someone out in the air and you've got your tail between the legs, the mm. last thing you want to do is exit through three lads mm. who want to um, tell you that you haven't done a very good thing. <laughs> but what I will say is when... I mean, we saw with Ewells there, he was quite apologetic. Players generally do hold their hands up and yeah, say, yeah. Yeah. sorry about that, lads. So, uh, Quinns have cleared up to their own 10-metre line again on the far side. Lukey Northmore on. Let's go, Luke. Oh, March off. Oh, that's uh, so that's... No, March is March off. Of the March on the wing, Caden's off. Oh, so, sorry. So, usually March goes out to the right wing. So, yeah, Lewis yeah, has stayed sure. on the right wing. Yeah. March to the left wing. Luke Northmore in at 13. Or, yeah, 13. Oh, and Appreciate Sean it. Michaels, the heartbreak kid himself, is on. Ah, oh, um, Wallace. Luke Sorry, Wallace that is on. a reference that is um, too young. No, no, I do, <laughs> Sorry, I do. I, do. I, I, I should get it. HBK. Heart, HBK, yeah. some sweet chin music. It's actually my FPL team name. <laughs> it's why, it why HBK, young heartbreak kid. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> so Luke Wallace on. I mean, we've taught, there are good-looking rugby players, and there are good-looking rugby players, and he is... A good looking rugby yeah, player. Yeah, he is. He's, I will say his beard's going grey though, so. <laughs> <laughs> just to make sure he knows that. You said I must eat so many lemons, because I am so bitter. <laughs> uh, who, which of the heavies is he. Oh, so Lord A's on, cheers off. Yeah. So Lord A to blind side. Yeah, cheers. Uh, Lukey, oh, Lukey to open oh, side. No, no. Oh. I always find that annoying when the scrum hasn't even been set. Yeah. 57 on the clock, Quinn's 19, Bath 17, oh. K-Rod on. Okay, He's had a shape-up as well. Yeah, he yeah. has. Yeah. All the Gilbert boys. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they've won the free kick and they're going for the scrum of Bath. Interesting. So it's just Marla on now from the original front row. Riley and Kerrod at hooker and tight head respectively. And Wallace in that headband and open side. Oh, and Tiz in as well. So four new faces in the forward pack for Quinns. DC still there at nine. Fox is on at scrum half for Bath. Putting the ball in now. Go, Joe. Go, Joe. Danny being a yes. nuisance. Knock on? Knock on. Somewhere, surely. Oh, Rocket Akuni. Oh, Rocket Akuni getting off Great right work, away. Tiz. Tiz trying to slow the ball down. Lovely seed. Good pick up as well from a Jomo. Just looks lively. I like him as a footballer. Right, he's good. A he's really good. Skillful, skillful, skillful guy. Chop tackle from Tiz gets himself on side. Oh, They've got numbers here. As mate, nice. De Carpentier looks the business. Yes. Nick that though. Interception from John Brown, but he goes straight to ground. Not one of his flying wait, ones. Not, where he puts the cape on. This is, this is, this? is a little bit yeah, right? <laughs> Oh, but a good pick and go for Quinns just to steady the ship up to halfway. It's got a roll, it's got a roll. But Bath, as they have been throughout the match, doing well to slow the game down. Danny Kerr's going to put boot to ball, bang on halfway, looking to drop it right on the 22, marching on the chase. Oh, Rocket Taguni underneath it. Suggestion of a bit of offside. Referee lets him get away with it though. Dino. Shot, dude. With a good tackle. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Dino and Tiz add in what? Get out there, son. 200 250 something. kilos, probably. Yeah, probably. That's a quarter of a metric ton. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it is. When you put it like that. And then that ball hooked yeah, 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 yeah. straight out, but they're inside the 22, so it'll be Quinn's line out, mm. 35 metres from the try line in front of the Charles Stanley stand. Coming up to the hour, I'll be honest with you, I'd like another two tries. Yeah, we do. Yeah. I think we need them to put the game to bed a bit. Yeah. They're lucky they took that penalty earlier on. Yes, yeah. yeah that's true, actually. Yeah, because it would be a different game if not. 
Absolutely. Um, you've got a couple of minutes to pick your last Quinn's try scorer before we close the competition. Remember, this home jersey is up for grabs. You went liner. You went Northmore. Yeah. I haven't committed. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. That's, that's terrible for me. Oh, that's what I don't know. That's how it works, isn't it? Oh. But you, to be honest, lads. Oh, yes! yes oh. 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 Joe Marshall oh. oh. through. Oh, oh that's gone forwards. Well, I think we'll be brought back for this, but we've still got the ball somehow. Offside! Oh, oh what a nudge! Oh, oh my oh. So, a nudge from DC for Lewis Liner. God knows what Daddy Kerr was thinking when he was doing it, but it's going to be scrum to bar. Just I, talk. <laughs> I, think, I think we've got to go back for the... Well, I don't think we're complaining. What are we looking for... What are we looking for here? So the ref... Because if it's off the head, I think it changes whether it's a five-meter scrum or not. Uh, Whereas if it's off the hands, then it's a five-meter so, scrum, definitely. So Danny Kerr has just just pulled out a hook kick from two meters from the try line underneath the post to the corner flag. It's a ridiculous nudge. Yeah, it's on the money, isn't it? Lewis Liner has gone up for it. It's off uh, his head. <laughs> it's off his head. Falcon. Oh. Either way, it's, it's not going to be a try. I'm pretty sure that Quinn's knocked the ball on, or the ball went forward twice in the build-up, but we're not going back for it. Um, God, it was such a good nudge. If he's, if he's gathered that, it's, it's yeah. try of the year. Yeah. Well, what, what are we doing? 22. Oh, 22 drop out. So we've got more questions. We're asking the experts here. I am referring to my phone. Lexi Williams. Uh, and it's about coaches and environments. I just want to get the game back underway, and we will uh, we will answer we will answer the questions. Do keep them coming because we've still got 20 minutes of this game left. It's still in the balance. I am nervous. Knocked back by De Carpentier. So, go on, Thomas. Let's pass that. Yeah. Go on, Dino. Turn over. Turn over. Yeah. Oh, hands on. Side, isn't that? Knock on. Who's knocked it on? I think it was from the. Um, Oh, has he kicked that away? No. Right then, while we're waiting for the scrum, uh, Lexi Williams, how have the coaches built an environment for the players that's resulted in them being so resilient even when they concede? That's a good question, actually, mm. because we do concede an annoying number of points. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, think, I think training's got a lot more competitive, um, and I think that leads to sort of getting in tough positions and being able to work out what's going wrong on the pitch. Uh, so there's, there's leadership groups and there's, there's sort of different types of groups within the team that will talk about what's going wrong, so attack and defence, and then there's a spine group as well. Um, so I think that's the biggest thing that this has led to, is uh, being able to solve problems on the go and, mm. yeah, go, go from there, really. Mm. Well, whatever it is, it's working. Lexi, thank you for your question. Bath have a set scrum just outside their own 22, middle of the pitch. Two players on the blind side, four on the open, and they are going blind side. Looking to face Quinns up and running out of trouble. It's Bailey who puts his head down, gets over the gain line. He's done really well, Orlando Bailey there. Now they send the heavies up. 1917, just over an hour gone. I'm starting to get nervous. No, not yet. They're playing, aren't they? Yeah, they are playing. Little chip over there from Cipriani. Not sure what that kick was, but somehow Bath have wrestled it back, but into nice touch. Nice ball. Mate, I'm, 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 oh yeah, I'm pushing. I'm pushing over stands. So annoying, man. Hey, hey. Um, the nine. Mm. Stop off taking the quick. Well, that'd be something they've talked about, wasn't it? Because we do like to go quickly. Yeah. Very yeah. true. Trying to kill our um, tempo. Disappointing not to come away with something after that lovely inside ball to Yeah, March. it was really nice, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. But I think that's our thing. We create so many tries yeah. opportunities. Um, eventually they click and then it's just... It's, it's weird, isn't it? Because we seem to be more clinical in the games where we don't create more of those opportunities. Mm. Oh, not... DC! Oh, chip, 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 no, chip, no, chip, no, 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 chip. no, 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 yeah. no. Oh! oh! I've literally seen the refs say play on then after DC's been taken out late. Mm. But the crowd are booing. You'll be able to hear it. Danny Kerr chips ahead. He gets taken out. The referee is in position. He says play on immediately. He's, um, look, he's looking for that try, isn't he? Yeah. I, I think that's the wrong decision. There's yeah. a two-on-one with, uh, with Lord A there. Yeah. Um, but his eyes light up. And we are still at 19-17. 
Uh, Tyrone in the backfield on his own as yeah, they shake. That's ridiculous. That's actually really annoyed me. I don't think it's the best decision. Uh, Tyrone is underneath it on the halfway line. Good yeah, take, good shot. Take it up. Yeah, I'm disappointed they didn't look at that. Lukey Wallace, first carry for him. Oh, there's a body oh, over that turnover. Oh, no, he's oh, off his feet. Oof, done very yeah, well there in the end. Is. Big time. Nice match. Oh, oh yes, Bulmar. Lovely check. Right, Luke Northbourne needs there to get go. a bounce. Oh, oh, it's oh whacking, good it's chase. Oof. It's gone straight out, though. It's gone straight out. It's good. back in the yes, 22. Lovely we need to come oh, away with something here. Yeah. Yes. Penalty, yes. try, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just, let's come away with three. Just something. Three or five. 64 minutes on the clock. Sorry, Lenny, go on. No, no, no I'm, just, I'm an excited fan. <laughs> get excited. You were excited because you thought Luke yeah. Northmore was going but in. That's, that's not only the last round of the yeah, game. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Although For one us, breeds two, yeah. That's the last round. One breeds two. Here yeah, so look at... We've got the replay here. <laughs> DC's two on one. If he just holds it... Yeah. I, I think Ollie Fox might catch Lorde, though. Yeah. Potentially. Either way, it's probably a penalty. I don't think it's yeah. a yellow. No, yeah, no, not at all. It's just a penalty. I think though. McConaughey's got to take these out there, yeah. regardless. Yeah, and he does that. So yeah, he's done well. Right. He's a big old lad for a runner, isn't he? Mate, he's so and tall and rangy yeah. and so. And, 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 and Muir? Oh, oh my yeah, Muir God. as well, yeah. Muir's like, he's made a brick as well. <laughs> yeah. He's, uh, Dino, good Great line on board at the back. It's come out quickly. DC to the line. He doesn't want to tackle. Yeah. He's just jumping. Is that a high shot? Either way, it's quick ball. Chance now for Marcus. Luke Northmore steps inside. Down. Eight down. metres short. Oh. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, it looked like an arm around the neck of Marla there, but we are where we are. Quinn's inside the 22. Kerrod gets backed up by Lukey Wallace. Oh, oh, dropped and another chance gone for Quinn's. We need oh. to take one of these. Mate, oh, Lewis needs to fight him. I'm, I'm getting into him if I'm on the pitch. It's not your boy? No, Ollie Fox, whatever oh, his name Ollie is. Oh, Fox, uh, okay. Not a fan of him, are you? No, not at all. It's a typical nine, though, isn't it? Lewis has just snatched at it. They've done, you know, they've done everything right there as well. Look, this is such a so uh, Danny K off, Scott Steele on for the That's last 15 good. minutes. Scott Steele. Surprised he wasn't in the Scotland mix. I know they've yeah, gone with the young well. scrum half, which... Oh, have they? Yeah, so... It's a weird one, isn't it? Because it's going to be Ali Price. He's mm. going to start. Yeah, true, true, true. Um, but yeah, I thought he might have... Because uh, you, you can't say it's because he hasn't got enough minutes because they've no, called yeah. up Hugh Jones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's, yeah. True. yeah. Who's hardly played at all. God, 1917. Oh, I don't like it. Yeah, it's a bit squeaky, isn't it? Oh, I should say. I mean, we're playing in the right uh, areas. <laughs> David Lyric asks, if you could make one rule change, what would it be? No reset scrums. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was about to say as well. Like um, one reset maximum and then just do something else. What do you do? Rock, paper, scissors? That's <laughs> quick. No, I just think when it goes down, if the ball is out, I know the refs are trying to encourage it more, but just let them play it. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, we had that one earlier where um, it got reset before they even, yes. they even slammed in. So yeah. I think that would be, it just helps speed the game up. I know you don't want it to go to like rugby league, yeah, but just but, no, I know exactly a bit more mean. tempo into yeah. it. They're going to go with blind, I reckon. Yeah, they did last time as well, didn't they? Watch eight. Watch eight. Yeah, it's straight to Rocco. Oh, no. Underhill at eight. He has been for the last two, and yeah. he's tried to get the offload there yeah, as well. Isn't he? He's mm. wide, mate. He is as wide as a double door. Yeah. Basically Welsh, isn't he? Or whatever. Lad, he? But he should be. He'd be, be more than welcome. Oh, turn over. Nice, Lukey. Surely. Yes! 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 Lukey yes! Wallace! Lovely. There's your seven. It's, it's vintage, isn't it? Yeah, classic Lukey. Nah, he's class. They just keep holding It's really annoying like. He's meant to be playing tomorrow as well So hopefully he's uh, What Luke he's, he's, yeah, he's, he's not too sore uh, So what's the What's the side tomorrow Off the top of your head Finn Baxter at one Yeah, yeah. George Head at hooker yeah. yeah We've got a guest down from Worthing Yeah uh, I'm not sure his name Okay uh, George Hammond And Matas Oh yeah Grevichus There we go yeah, Great pronunciation um, I'm actually I'm doing Um 
I'm doing Switzerland versus Lithuania in the yeah, Rugby Euro Trophy. Oh, oh, of course, you've been practising your own. <laughs> I can't believe. I, like, I love Matas, but it's unlikely he's going to get an England corner. So why isn't he going for Lithuania? Yeah, just doing it there. Yeah. He's, he's young, though, so he's still got a lot of. Yeah, yeah, yeah a lot of yeah, that's true. That's true. Got to keep the dream alive. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Oh, they nicked it, oh, have they? Oh, no, no, Dino's managed to wrestle that. Well done. No, 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 no. no they have it. How have they? First lost lineup for either side. Wait, yeah, this huge credit to Bath. I'm not saying, they like, played well, yeah, regardless they played well. of who wins this game, their transformation from last week, they yeah. deserve massive, massive credit. Yeah. Straight out. That's the pen as well, actually. Get it. Go on. Oh, oh no, no, don't, no, Jesus. No. Your man, Odge. Yeah. Oh. Have a good game. Um, it's quite long. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, Matas and. Oh, yeah, George. Jam, jammed in the second row. Uh, yeah. So I don't know if it's Trenome or McKean, Alakan. It's both uh, at six. Yeah, no, no, they, can't, they can't both be at six. No, correct. <laughs> uh, but I think McKean's been a bit ill this week, so I don't know if he's going to start okay. or, or what. Uh, Lukey was meant to be at seven, and then I'm playing eight. Nice. Uh, nine is Lewis, Lewis Jaltz, Guatemala. Yeah, Guatemala, there you go. Oh, uh, old Jaltz. Yeah, old Jaltz. Nice Rawls. Uh, nice Rawls. Ten with Edwards. Mate, speaking of good looking boys, oh, Lewis Jaltz. Isn't he the best looking bloke? Yeah, great. His rig as well. Oh, oh, oh it's gone forward. Yeah. Great shot as well by Rocco. Straight in the nuts. <laughs> Straight in the nutsack. Um, yeah, Lewis is poor. Honestly, you get that boy a season ticket at the ship. <laughs> <laughs> He has a girlfriend. Yeah, he's got oh, a girlfriend. He? Yeah, tied yeah. up. I'm sure, she's lovely <laughs> as a human being. Yeah. So Lewis at nine. Uh, Will Edwards at ten. Oh yeah. Uh, like Edwards. Yeah, good bit of pace about him. I like, like him. Uh, twelve is. I'm, I'm at twelve. Oh. Oscar Beard at thirteen. Oh, so he's back fit he's again. Back oh, again. brilliant news. Yeah. Um, Connor's eleven on one wing. Yeah. Ross Chiz. Ross Chiz and the other. Oh, Ross. The, the old horse. Yeah. Ross, honestly, I like. I love Ross Chiz. He is a great yeah, yeah, lad, yeah, but he must feel at that hundred in that team. <laughs> that and back then, line, especially. Yeah. Tell you what, he can. He still looks in great nick. No, though, yeah, he like is in really good um, nick. Yeah. Nick yeah. David at fullback. Oh, we also oh, Nick's available. This is yeah. great news, uh, boys. Shortly, and I know I hate to do it in um, uh-huh. in a game like this. We need to choose the DHL moment that delivers. Ooh. So that is can be any moment from the game. It could be a try, it could be a tackle, it could be a, a player, it could be anything. So we'll have a couple of nominations. I think Marcus's finish has got to be up yeah. there. Yeah, I reckon so. Two tries for Andre has got to be up there. Yeah. Um, there's not really been a huge amount to celebrate in the game, no, is there? No, this is true, this is true. We've got 10 minutes to go, you know. Yeah, so I think something's going yeah. now. Big scrum now, I have to say. Yeah. Yeah, massive. Make, just make them work for the exit. You know? Yeah, definitely. Just going to get the ball back and even kick a three. I don't mind. Here we it. go. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, nick that, nick that. Go on, Steely. Go on, Steely. Here we go, Luke. Get up. Again, just yeah. make the exit tough. That's what we want. No pens. Again, he's by himself. Thank you. Yeah. Rich the Carpentier has just run straight into his own player. And Queen that's the ball. moment that delivers. <laughs> that could be it. <laughs> that could be it. That, that scrum and that moment could be the defining factor. Yeah, that literally could be Honestly, it. Honestly, you could, you could wheel way. him straight into Game of Thrones. Just put, <laughs> just put a bit of armour on him and, oh, do you need makeup? No, no, I <laughs> just, I'm just ready to go, mate. Why does he look... No one else looks like that. No, not at all. Look at McAnally, he's been on for longer. Look at you. <laughs> So, Quinn Scrub. Oh, please score, boys. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be nice if they did. Please It'd be score. a bonus point as well. Yeah, yeah bonus point. Yeah. Take them outside of seven points as well. Yeah, yeah we would as well. Yeah, well, provided we get the conversion. Um, already, so changes. I'm actually quite nervous. Oh, mate, honestly. <laughs> we've had so many of these games over the, <laughs> over the time. I've been doing Harlequins Live, where yeah. you just get into the last few minutes. Most notably, oh, the first season I did it, Wasps, when they were oh, flying yeah. and looking for playoffs. Yeah. And, um, oh, what, what's his name? Lenny? Um, Will, no, Willis charged oh, yeah. down. Oh, yeah, Brownie's kick. Yeah, yeah back, I remember that. Back when he just looked like the best open yeah, side. Yeah, like, he yeah. was so good. Yeah, so, so good. So hopefully he'll come back, because, you know... Yeah. yeah, he's had a horrible time of injuries. Yeah, there, yeah, yeah. Well, and it was... It was, was it his England debut that he... It is me. Yeah, it is me. Just, horrible. you can't wish that on anyone, no, can you? No, 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 no. 
hopefully we get some good news about Ben Urbano and it's not too serious for him as they uh, Bath making a few more changes Mark Change. Williams Mark Williams coming on uh, oh yeah Spot, speaking of big lumps big goodness lump. me big yeah lump. Ellis off Williams on so who have we got left on the bench we've got Santi and Hugh Hugh oh ok yeah yeah, 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 yeah. OK, Quinn's put in. Scott Steele, first put in he's had. 15 metres out, central position. A lot of advantage. March and Tyrone on the blind side. Marcus, Andre, Luke, North Moore, and Lewis Lino on the open side. Very dangerous. Free kick. Scrum again. Uh, Scrum again. Scrum again. Free kick. Scrum again is a smart shout because the clock keeps ticking. There's 71 minutes Wait, on it. Marla's played 71. Oh no, he had talents in the bin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Played 61 minutes. <laughs> 61 minutes. <laughs> it's probably his punishment for getting binned. Yeah, you'll you stay on the whole time. He's got a mad engine though, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah so, so yeah. So the scrum, the scrum resets. Best case scenario, penalty advantage. Yeah. Worst case scenario, don't want to talk about it. Or think about it. This is a Harlequins Live, brought to you by Silverbug. Thank you very much for joining us. Oh, I hate these moments. Just, it's much better when we're winning by 50. In it comes, real pressure coming on the scrub. Must be a Quinn's pen. Here's yeah. a Quinn's pen. Oh, great. What did you do now? Take the points? Yeah, you we'll think? Nah, come what? on. <laughs> You boys are contracted Wait, Harlequins. I'm just nervous. But the only thing is, if we take the points, it gives Bath field position. Yeah. yeah That's true. my... They're having a serious chat about it though. Dommers. Scrum again. Scrum. Go on, get that But again, out. clock. Every scrum's a minute. Yeah, true, yeah. true, true. Every scrum's a minute. Um, and uh, we've, we've done it a couple of times this season though, where we've gone back to back scrum penalties, then given away a scrum penalty. Yeah, Commentator's cursing. Just, 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 just go well, no, I'm, I'm hoping that what, by what, mentioning you're on, it. You're on cursing it. Okay, I'm like, hoping yeah. that by mentioning it, it doesn't happen. I like but, it. Um, Front rows are different animals, aren't they? Mate, who would want to be? Their nets, <laughs> their nets, the pressure, just, all of it. Just but not also, nice. it, look, it's it's really easy to become a big heavy guy, to mm. become a big heavy guy whose joints still work. Yeah, <laughs> I can run around. I can yeah, run around exactly. the park. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Different breed. Yeah. Right. Come on, boys. Big scrum. Again, it's just to the left of the posts. Nothing's changed in the back line. In it comes from Quinn's. Better scrum this time, and it's at the back. Steely switches direction. Tyrone on the blind side. Steps inside one and two. Gets over the gate line. Three Here metres short. Tyrone brought down. Oh, oh what oh, a pick up from And off from And off from oh, Watch out! Watch out! Oh, my word! What was that? That was the pick up. The offload, oh, that's a jump. The pickup was a disgrace. It was like that. that was just, oh my lord. It was like a liner. Like, what the what hell? Are we just that's a jump. He has plucked that out of the air. No, the offload, you, you guys see the offload. Look, the offload is crazy. Mate. Oh my god. The offload is a joke. <laughs> what a joke. He's got out for Jim, but didn't he? He's got out for Jim. He actually asked him. That is. That's oh the joke. my gosh. He's, he's taken five bath players yeah, out with that offer. Crazy. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five bath players. Great finish by Joe as well, because that's actually quite tough. And he's gonna score the last try of the match. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. That could be try of the season. No, that actually might be. That I think offload. it is. is. Right, is that offload the DHL moment yeah. of delivery? Yeah, yeah, it is, it is. We have it there and Hands then. Down. That was unreal. Right, important Mate, kick. That's a joke. Really important kick here. 24 17. This takes it beyond a converted try. The yeah. bonus point secured. is secured. That's good Beautiful. news. Shot. Yeah, like it. Oh, shot. Let's go. Lovely. If only he could shoot like that on Prodigy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if only. But do you know what? This this also changes things psychologically for Bath now. Yeah. Good chase because, him. well, there's five minutes to go on the clock. If they get a kickable penalty, yeah. it takes them to within the losing bonus point range. Yeah. Um, they've won the ball back here, though. Oh, nice. So, do you know what? It's a little sideways pass, but as a... Uh, yes, oh, ooh, little, oh, knocked knocked yeah. there we go. It's a little sideways pass, right? But Cipriani just always looks like he's gliding, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. Very smooth. Yeah, oh. in stride of everything he does. Yeah, I know what you mean. So, knock on. 
Wait, Luca could still talk to one last try. Yeah. Um, they've just announced Joe Marler as man of the match, have they? Or if they, and they, they, there is a bit of oh, Santi, come on. Sam. Yeah, Santiago's Sam. on. Oh, okay, so he's been subbed. So 65 minutes, not 75 minutes yeah, a month. Still, great shift yeah, for, uh, for a yeah, loose head. Shift. Oh, shift. Hughes on as well. Oh, let's oh go. big Hugh. Mate, Mate, line break central. Hugh Jones, H-U-W, definitely Welsh. What's he doing playing for Scotland? Well, Scot Scottish, well, grew up in England. Like, <laughs> yeah. He's been, he's been everywhere. <laughs> So, so, Africa. Africa. so Hugh's got it into 12 at the moment yeah. with yeah. Lukey 13. 13. That's a tasty combo, you know. Yeah, it, it is, nice. it is. Very it's nice. Line break central, everywhere. Oh, scrums. Either way, clock's ticking. True. Clock is ticking. People are going home, they know it's secured. Why, are they going home or are they trying to get a good seat at the patch? Yeah. yeah, great point. It's only Saturday. Keep All goes to the bar. Yeah. Stick with us after the game. I'll be heading pitch side to try and get some reaction from a player. Um, I don't. Well, do you know what? I'm not going to talk about the game yet because this is far from home and hose. But 26-17. Uh, oh, that's that's, that's quite a nice. Mate, it's a yeah. nice that's that's really, nice, really yeah. smart. So that's yeah. the Black Scarf Gold Champions 2021 yeah. in block capitals across it, and the Quinns Jester either side. Quinns put in. Clock still ticking, 76.30 on it. Uh, I think Bath might have a little go at this They're with a new front row on. Going off 10. Oh, penalty. Go. Oh, no, 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 no. Chill Kicked out. The corner, let it look. You are already rearing to go for tomorrow, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, I, a bit of afters. Go on then. I love it. Oh, then get it. out of here. Some of these barnets. I love it. I mean, Tom Dunn's lid is an absolute disgrace. Is that something when kids colour in? <laughs> he is doing it for charity, to be fair. Oh, okay. is he? Yeah, oh, okay, he is. I, I take still, it back. It's still yeah. like when kids colour in, but yeah, fair play. It is. <laughs> it better be if it's for a good cause. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what is the cause? I'm actually not too sure. Okay, um, I'll, I'll look at it and I will apologise and I will donate. No, no, no. no yeah. <laughs> okay, 77 minutes on the clock. At the moment, Joe Marchant is the last try scorer. Bottom line is, 77 yeah. and a half minutes on the clock. Um, this is the pitch position I want to be in. Yeah, yeah 100%. Talk through, so whatever you do, sort out for Luke to score. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. hit, hit up middle, hit come up back, middle, yeah. Lewis on the rewind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Quinn's forwards have taken an eternity. They're still not in the lineup. They've burned 25 <laughs> seconds yeah. there. Oh. Close the gap, haven't they? Oh, oh, oh Riley, go! Go on, Lukey! Oh, oh Ron Lukey! Right. Lukey Wallace! Where's Lewis? Come on, Lewis! He's gone in field. Yes, Come on, Lewis. Lewis! So, big Inside Tizzy ball. with the carry. Inside ball, Lewis. Santi there, adding some weight. Mate. It's going to a forward. That's but ridiculous. But have Tommy. slowed it down. Tommy Lorde oh. at the Lewis. back. No, oh, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh Tyrone gosh. has got him shut. Oh, what are they doing? Oh, Mark Here we go! Later, later. It's oh, 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 my God, what a try. <laughs> That's a joke. Oh, nothing. That two tries him as well. Oh, what a joke. If you want to score a try, throw it back past the yeah. <laughs> Just let him run. Let the boy run. Man, that was just crazy. Oh. Then all of a sudden, it's 31-17. And, and that's, the, yeah, that's yeah. the game, yeah. <laughs> game, but game done. I feel like that shows better how the game's actually been. Yeah. Yeah, probably more yeah. of an accurate scoreline. Yeah. yeah. Especially when you consider how the first half actually was the first 20 and stuff. Oh, Lewis, Lewis yeah, is right there on the inside. And Lukey's there as well. Lewis is right on the inside. <laughs> he just needs to give it inside. But yeah, that's an outrageous offer. Yeah. Yeah. Look, look at him. Look at him. Oh, to be fair, he's, he's probably going to take it. Oh, God. That out of the back door. Um, my head went a little bit then. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, why is he Tilt doing it. that? Why is Tilt he doing it. that? Uh, Harlequins 31, about 17, 79 and a half on the clock. Kick to come. It's game, isn't it? I think we can yeah, now say that's the game. ball game. Um, yeah. Great day. Let's, yeah, great day. <laughs> Loved it. The good thing is, never in doubt as well. Yeah, yeah never. <laughs> oh, and, uh, hopefully you guys at home have been not quite as stressed as us. As I said, stick with us at the end. I'll be going pitch side. Might be a little bit of a wake, so I've got to wrestle through everybody to try and get to the pitch. But I will be getting some exclusive post-match reaction as Marcus strokes it oh, right. just wide of the upright. You should have taken five more seconds. Cause it's quite long. Yeah, 31-17. Uh, 
Bath will have the chance to kick, and, <laughs> and they've also got they've also got the chance to get the um, lose the bonus point. Lose the bonus point. Try. Oh, oh gosh, gosh. Uh, knock on. It's knock knock on. on advantage. Yeah, it was interception. On the pitch. Okay, oh, first on. knock on oh, by Bath. You can't what? end the game on a knock on, so first knock on by Bath. When, when, when did that happen? Do you know? No. That's never been a thing, has yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Has it always been a thing? I think, well, no, this season, isn't it? Oh, is, is that this hmm. season? I That's ho- interesting. I hope so, otherwise you'd maybe sound like a right plank. No, no, no. Isn't that, that means you know you've always known this? I don't know that. No, I don't know that either. Yeah. yeah. End the game by a knock on. No, that's, that's definitely new. So, right, what happens now? Do we <laughs> kick it dead or do the lads have a couple of phases? I think they'll kick it dead been quite a tough game quite a yeah. physical game and um, but then at the same time like so, oh is, is it Bath no ours no, they knocked ours. it on first we look, we look like we're going to play yeah I think we are as well whether it's a little ploy or mate Hugh Jones wants to, wants to touch the ball to touch yeah. he hasn't had one has he so actually? now we've got oh no sorry Northbourne Jones looks similar from a distance it is still yeah. Jones at same 12. white boots and everything <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh Dom has just kicked <laughs> it out <laughs> yeah I think he made a decision there, didn't They're he? They're fighting again. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, while the forwards have a dust up to finish the game, it is full time. Harlequins, five tries here at the Stoop. It's a bonus point. It's Quince 31, Bath 17. 21 points from five games in this season's Gallagher Premiership. A winning debut Very for nice. Archie White. Very nice. Uh, thoughts on the game, Archie? Uh, yeah, got a little scrappy, um, sort of 20 minutes in. And then the second half, we came out sort of different beast, didn't we? Sort of put the foot on the throat of Bath and sort of ran away with it in the end. Um, I think we sorted our discipline out, sort of where we played on the pitch out, and, um, and yeah, just sort of carried on from there. Yeah. yeah, blew a few opportunities, but territorially, we were a lot better in the second half. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, a lot, like much, much better. We, we forgot what we were leading from the first second half, 1917. So just nice to see the boys play in the right areas and come back with a win after last weekend so. do you know what though that's happened a couple of times this season where I thought we've really dominated the game and then looked at the scoreline yeah, at the end and remember close. Worcester Warriors yeah yeah I yeah, thought we true. played them off the park yeah. and then no, what was it a six point win in the end yeah. uh, right then you boys tomorrow talk to me how excited are you to get back to it it'll be really good nice playing with each other because we've never been playing with each other for a while um, it should be a good outing what's a good Saturday afternoon for you Archie Oh, I'm not too sure. Probably watch some of the football highlights. Yeah. Probably jump on a few zones, get on a Call of Duty, and that's probably about it, really. Yeah. And, and then what's a good Sunday tomorrow after you've played? <laughs> or whilst you're playing? <laughs> We've actually got quite a late kickoff tomorrow, so yeah. I think it's like 6 or 6.30. Yeah. Where's the game? Uh, Sunbury. So London Irish is chain training ground. So, uh, Quinn supporters, I've got no idea what the situation is, but if you want to come and see the lads play, if you want to watch some rugby on a Sunday, get on down to Sudbury. Yeah. Exciting times, very, boys. Yeah, I'll certainly be keeping an eye on it. Unfortunately, there's not uh, a live stream of the game, but uh, I know. I know. I'm not, I'll work on it, OK? I'll work on it. We are going to be live streaming some of the Academy games, and we are going to be uh, having a look at uh, some of the women's games as well, the ones that aren't com- uh, covered by the RFU. I'm going to be doing the commentary on. Big games coming up. Um, if there is the odd ticket available for Saracens, then maybe try and pick it up. And there are tickets available for the big game, 27th of December, the double header, men against Northampton Saints, women against Wasps. That's going to be unreal, yeah, isn't it? Be amazing, yeah, really, yeah. really good, yeah. You boys Pete Tong fans? I've got there, yes. Uh, I feel like it was around before we were born. Yeah, exactly. Uh, boys, can you not? <laughs> was that 1990s or? Uh, <laughs> what year were you born? 2000. And? 97. So, uh, honestly, unbelievable. Yeah. Um, thank you for your company today, boys. It has been an absolute I'm pleasure. It. Good to see you. See you good too. to have you on the show. Good luck tomorrow. Um, also, good luck with Richmond. Thank you very much. Up the bond. Oh, we, do you know what they've got on against? I haven't checked. I haven't seen something gross in this game. I'll check later. <laughs> right, we're going to check the Richmond Bedford score, and I am going to try and wrestle through yeah. 10,000 people yeah. to get you some post match reactions. Stick with us. 31 17, the full time score. We'll be back shortly.
31-17 then, the full time score, five tries for Quinns. It was 19-17 for a little bit too long for my liking in that second half, but just take a look over here, supporters lining the pitch, ready to come and meet some of the players, giving us a wave, it's great to have them here. Um, brilliant response from Bath, I think we can all agree, after last week, which would have been incredibly difficult for the team, conceding 70 points at home. They were in that game for a long time, but unable to get over the line in the end. Quinn's responded well to that Joe Marley yellow card. I am pitch side here looking at a microphone where hopefully we're going to get some reaction. But uh, Harlequin's just over there taking their time. But do stick with us because we usually hear from someone and it is usually something to look forward to. While we do wait for some players to make their way over, let's have a talk about some of the things that are going on with the club in the not too distant future of course we'll be back for Harlequin's life for the Saracens match we welcome them here without our England internationals of course that is already a sellout but keep your eye on the website because there might be a few individual tickets and it'd be great to have you here if you can make it if you can't make it I've already said it a few times the big game over the road at the big stoop the 27th of December tickets are available we're looking to pack the place out it's a double header you can see your Premiership champions and the Premier 15's champions both in incredible competitive games. You watched Northampton Saints last night. They are on it this year so that's going to be a brilliant game. It's Quinn's men v Saints in the men's game and then Quinn's women v Wasps in the women's game. Who have we got over here? We've got Dino. Oh, we've got Tyrone on his way over. Players are just making their way over, doing the uh, round of uh, the round of honour, the lap of honour. It's round enough. Uh, but Tyrone is coming over for a chat. Um, Ty, great to see you. Uh, congratulations, another bonus point victory, but that was a serious head-to-head -head today. You've got a smile on your face. Did you enjoy that one as much as I did? Yeah, it was, it was tough. I think first off, we let ourselves down. Uh, but yeah, happy to take five points. Always happy to take five. Um, why was it difficult today? Because Bath had a terrible week last week, and, and they're bottom of the Premiership, but they certainly didn't play like a team who are bottom of the Premiership today. No, I think they, they had something to prove after what happened to them last week, so I think they did come out guns blazing, but we had a feeling that first off our discipline and our handling errors let us down. We, we, we allowed them to play and we knew they were going to come, but if we stuck to our game, we would have been able to handle it much better. A couple of tries at the end to get that bonus point. I bet they were sweet relief. What was said in the huddle after the game when you had the group there and you could talk about that win? No, it's a, exactly like I said. The first off, we let ourselves down. Discipline, we can't take one half before we get into gear. So we have to step it up next week and start from minute one. Uh, well, we'll talk about next week shortly, but let's talk about last week and how pleased you are to respond in this man, ma manner after the first defeat of the season. Yeah, no, we were very uh, upset after last week. We, we let ourselves down. We, we could have won that game last week, but that's in the past. We knew we put it behind us and this game we went through get back to winning ways. And Saracens next week, those are the... Well, I've just seen the smile on your face as soon as I've said it. Those must be the games that you really cherish as a Harlequin. Yeah, no, definitely. The boys are excited. The whole team's excited and I think it's... Haven't played them since I've been here, so looking forward to the game. Oh, I bet you are. Well played, mate. Great to have a chat. Enjoy this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, oh, listen to that response to Tyrone Green. The Quins love him. Let's bring in Sam Riley. Um, great to see you on the pitch for probably a few more minutes than you thought you were going to get today. How was it? Yeah, it was really good. Obviously, I was surprised that Jack went down and obviously really sad for him and hope he gets back quick. But um, yeah, I was just finished the warm-up and they're like, you're on. I'm like, what do you mean I'm on? I see he's running around. So yeah, I just went on and kind of did the job. And you were straight in at the cold face at scrum time as well. How was that? Yeah, it was um, yeah, very interesting. Bath got a big pack and obviously tough result for them last week. So they'll want to bounce back but I thought the, the boys' scrum time especially dug, dug real deep and did a good job. All of the Harlequins fans are really looking forward to you progressing through this team. Great to see you with your hands on the ball today, playing the Harlequins way. Uh, talk to me about how you've been welcomed into this senior group. Now you're a legitimate part of the first team squad this season. Yeah, it's really nice. I mean, um, just at the start in the pre-season game, didn't really expect too much, but it was real nice. Like, the lads are really nice, like callers, like Simo, really nice with a line outs and helping me out and then also just in terms of shape like Marcus, Dees, it's just like very welcoming, just tell you what to do so it's quite easy to kind of slide in the way. Performance wise today, five tries in the end and a bonus point victory, a hard earned one, how does that feel? Yeah it feels great, um, 
probably harder, harder, harder than the boys. Uh, probably we may look hard pretty much. So there's a lot to work on. Um, but five points and they go away with nothing. We'll take it any day. So yeah. But they're back to the drawing board next week. Um, has this week in the build-up been different to the previous weeks because you were coming off the back of a loss? Yeah, it was tough. Boys, boys were sad. Like boys were all down about it, but. We, we knew what we needed to work on, we put those things right in the week and then we knew uh, Bath were going to come big obviously after last week so we, we knew it would be a big energy battle and that's what we spoke about at half time, bringing the energy, bringing the intent and um, yeah, get the tries over the scoreboard. And how much are you looking forward to this coming week with Saracens at the end of it? Oh yeah, it'll be a really good challenge, obviously they're, they're going really well at the moment and um, the boys come off of, uh, of a win but definitely things to work on and uh, yeah, I think we're looking forward to it. We uh, well played today. Enjoy this evening, you much. deserve Cheers. it, hard graft. What about that? Two Harlequins full of positivity after a great victory, Sam Riley and Tyrone Green. If it's your first time watching Harlequins Live, we do this for every home game. If you can't make it down, then make sure you join us. We will be back for the Saracens match next week. I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Get your tickets for the big match. And let's just have a look this way. Hopefully, you can come back soon and be a part of this incredible crowd. It's selling out. It is the best atmosphere in Premiership Rugby. And as Harlequins, we want to have you down here. Uh, we do have a winner for the jersey as well. We will be in touch. We'll get your address. We'll get that posted out. Congratulations. You chose Joe Marchant as the final try scorer. There'll be another opportunity to win a great prize for the next show as well. Thanks once again for joining us. It's been our absolute pleasure. It is another bonus point win for you Harlequins as we look forward to Saracens next week. And I'll see you then.